This is this is episode one hundred eight. Oh shit! Hold on. One hundred eight. Yeah. One. Okay, yo. This is episode one hundred eight of uh, the Brother Guys podcast. I'm your host Jay Manley, and we are waiting for YouTube to pull up. Oh, it's up. We here. We here. What's going on, everybody? This is your host Jay Manley, the Brother Guys podcast. We are back again with episode one hundred and eight. I've got Malcolm as important to the right of me. Hey, Indiana got, Jones here. I've got Indiana T Rose on the on the boards. <laughs> What's good? What's good? How are you guys doing today? I'm good. Fuck you. We, good? we just recently recorded our uh, first Patreon episode. Is that a Patreon episode? Yeah, we and T Rose discussed it earlier. We're just gonna be like it's a, a Patreon episode. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> So it's what we gonna do? We gonna put thirty minutes of it on yeah, and everywhere. Then like, and then the like rest after, of it. yeah, it's gonna be like, oh, if you wanna listen to the rest of it, oh, Patreon <laughs> type I, shit. I like how y'all thinking with that? Yeah, it's not like that. Yeah. Like, and we had this discussion Friday, but I was uh, really under the influence. What what discussion on Friday about the same shit about the Patreon shit? But <laughs> yes. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't remember having it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, y'all just over time touch the camera with no battery in it. <laughs> yeah, I was wild on Friday. I was wild on. I was wild on. I, I, I was so determined to get this shit to work too. Like, <laughs> like I said, what is going on? Here? Your stimulus hit. You thought you was with bro. Bro, then, <laughs> bro, then the, <laughs> in the middle of conversation, bro. Like I think I said, shout out to somebody. We wasn't recording no more. I thought we was, <laughs> we're just recording. You, yeah, no, we were just having no, a conversation. Yeah, we wasn't even recording. We were yeah. just talking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what's up, bro? Y'all need to know who you got. Oh, yeah, Keen. Shout out to Keen, though. Oh, yeah. Facts, 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 facts. Um, how's everybody doing? Good. I'm doing all right. Um, I woke up pretty early, you know, made some bread real quick. Cleaned my whip up a little bit. Uh, Got my laundry ready. When we get done recording, I'm about to go to the gym. Mm. So, I only got two hours with y'all. Okay. Hey, that's funny you say that because I need to go back to the crib and uh, put my clothes in the dryer for my work week and get ready to be up at fucking 4 o'clock a.m. for a 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. shift. You got it. I'm not fucked up, bro, because it gives me more time to, like, get money, like, in other places and, like, do this shit, like, put more into Yeah, that shift, shift you was working before, like, I don't know how you did that. That was, bro, like, it was that's, bro. That's the worst shift in history, next to 1 to 10. I think that added to my depression that I was going through, too. I'm not going to lie to it's you. It's possible. Not gonna lie to you, possible bro. work. Even just impressive. like the work that I was doing and shit I was going through at that job, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, fuck no. <laughs> Honestly, bro. Like, I'm here now, though. Um, so you're better now. Yeah, I hear you. for sure. I hear you. For sure. Uh, like do we want to just start with the Kurt Franklin shit, or do we want to? <laughs> Man, I guess. Does, that, does everybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Or? Did yeah. You watch the video? Yes, I did. I did. Mm-hmm. Um, did y'all damn, see him? Can play? Did y'all see him? Can we play? I put the no. I didn't see. What, I didn't see his response. What his did you response? Think? Oh, I see. Yeah, the, the responses. So, yeah. Play I the mean, clip first, Jalen. Okay. Hold if you're unaware, it's this clip is um, this is oh, Kirk Franklin. Oh, the clip is in the notes. Yeah. Okay. It's Kirk Franklin and his son having a argument over the phone, and we all know Kirk to be the holy rolling. <laughs> we don't. We don't Christian. all know him to be plies on Sunday. Okay, all right. Can, oh, I, play awesome. it? Can I play it? Can I play it? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, play it. Play it. Paint the picture for the listeners who probably don't know how old Kirk Franklin's son is. Uh, he's not a teenager. He's not. How old is Kirk Franklin? Probably f- f- late forties, early fifties. How old is Kirk Franklin? <clears throat> Kirk Franklin. Apple cut the check. I knew he was in his fifties. Apple yeah. cut the check. Um, we all get thirty dollars a piece every time we say the word beep. Yep, yeah, uh, bro. His son is thirty three years old. So there's like not any sympathy for the way Kirk Franklin talk. My dad has said worse shit to me. <laughs> that don't mean it's right, Jalen. That don't mean it's right. That don't mean it's right. We gotta stop that in the black 
in the black community. Narco shut the fuck up. I mean, it sounds like I'm joking, but I'm being dead ass. People say, people think because something happened to them that it's okay for everybody to go through when that is yeah. the reason why they might be messed yeah, up a little bit. What if the say. little motherfucker was being disrespectful, though? I mean... That's still... He still shouldn't have said what he said about he'll break his neck and shit like that and... I mean, if he was being disrespectful, I can't... I don't really... I don't know. He said he wasn't. He said he wasn't being disrespectful, so I don't know. See, he didn't... For that, From that clip that I just watched, bro, it's... For me, it's kind of easy to tell that he didn't put everything that really fucking happened. You know what I mean? Yes, it's definitely clear. It was just a quick little snippet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because yeah. Kurt Franklin made... Uh, dropped a response video apologizing for his actions and also said that... Uh, the son didn't include the phone call with the therap- the family therapist mm. that was included in mm-hmm. that in altercation. Mm. What'd he say? Um, he didn't go into detail what was said with the therapist, but he just said that they that he was called it the, the therapist family. Do it be on YouTube or? I don't know. I don't know. But they have a family therapist apparently for this the turmoil that they have with their son. Like it's an ongoing situation. I kind of got the sense of that that they always have problems because of uh, oh, yeah. the little yeah. caption yeah. in the clip. Yeah. I couldn't really read it. And I couldn't even understand everything that Kirk was saying. Yeah. The, 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 especially the first part, it's really hard. You had to really listen really, really, really close to hear what he's saying. And I wasn't trying to listen to applause at a yeah, I got the So I just kind of... Let's see what he said. Let's see what he said. All right. You got to put it next to the mic. Oh, he, oh, he changed the voice. He put the soft voice on and everything. The, yeah, he put the preaching voice. Stand on that shit. For many years, we have had a toxic. Lord, I come to you today. Wait, yeah, look, yeah, let, me hear, let me hear it. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. I just heard this nigga talking before the songs turn off. Before the songs turn off, that's all I heard. Go ahead. Run it back. Many of you know I have an older son named Carrie on Franklin. In May, you'll be 33. For many years, we have had a toxic relationship with him as a family. We've tried for many years through counseling, through therapy, to try to rectify this private family matter. Recently, my son and I had an argument that he chose to record. I felt extremely disrespected in that conversation, and I lost my temper. And I said words that are not appropriate. And I am sincerely sorry to all of you. I sincerely apologize. I want you to know as a father that during that conversation, I called the family therapist and got that therapist on the phone to try to help him. He never played that part of the recording. I'm not perfect. I'm human and I'm going to make mistakes and I'm trying to get it right. Please keep me and my family in your prayers. I fuck with the apology, even though it's not needed because it's family shit. Like... Bro, if me and JJ get into it, bro, and I'm a fucking millionaire now, and, th- and this shit is blowing up all over the place, and there's something leaks of me cussing JJ the fuck out. Something didn't leak, though. JJ put it out. Yeah. All right, if JJ put it out, it's like... I just don't understand why... Yeah, all right, JJ, 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 JJ wilding, y'all. This ain't really any of y'all fucking business. I, we, we, we working on us. That's all you need to know. The statement is perfectly fine. Like, letting niggas know what's, what y'all going through, but apologizing to your apologize. fans? That yeah, seemed he weird. Apologize. He, he didn't need to apologize. That, was, that, was that seemed really weird. That, that's like the culture of today, but like, it, he didn't need to do it, though. He probably was just saving, saving you know, pages. Him trying to save himself. Of niggas his be pussy. He's a fucking gospel like, artist, so it's like... He sound pussy. He said he wasn't perfect. <laughs> That's wild to me though Cause it's like bro it's I like, never assumed he was perfect I thought he was plies during the week Like I didn't think it was perfect <laughs> Once I found out that nigga didn't sing I was like alright I'm done with this nigga Like when I was a kid I said this nigga DJ Khaled of gospel music I don't give a fuck about this nigga Why your name on the album? And then I found out he write the songs And I was like okay That makes a little more sense But you write the songs Go ahead and sing them nigga Fuck He's a choir director He's a director Well I'm unfamiliar with that profession Choir director so, like, I didn't really have no whole leader than thou perfect image of Kirk Franklin. Funny, yeah. like, I didn't either. I didn't either just because of all... You can just tell his personality that he's, like, kind of a dick. A you know bit. Kirk Franklin's personality? Just off of his, like, interviews and <laughs> just, like, watching him and shit. Wait, you watched Kirk Franklin interviews? Bro, Kirk Franklin was, was heavily played in my house growing up. Like, Stomp was, like, played Stomp? a lot when that shit came out. You know, How'd that go? I don't know these songs by name. They was just playing. How does that shit start? GP, you ain't with me! What? Yeah, church, we ain't going nowhere. GP, you ain't with me! Oh, yeah. We out of church, we ain't going nowhere. 
I'm gonna come back next week, the biggest Kirk Franklin fan. Watch. Watch. This nigga gonna take Stump a shit. Go crazy. Stump is that shit. And melodies from heaven. I don't know none of these. None of his songs by name, except oh. for I Smile. Play, play, play Stump. Play Stump. Hold on, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to pull it up. <laughs> I forgot this nigga Stump was on Chance. I forgot he was on Chance album. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this album slapped though. Hello, Fear. Play Stump. Is it on the album? No, Stomp is early shit, bro. Um, all right, well, let me find Stomp. Hold on. <laughs> you guys listen to that back there. God's property. For those of you that think that gospel music has gone too far, you think we've... Yeah, this is going to be fire, too. I wasn't going to play the whole song. <laughs> I feel you. It's going to be fire, man. Yeah, that's a shit. This shit hit. Like... You I don't think I know this song. You possibly have never seen this. You must have never seen that shit live, like in church. Yeah. Like I don't think I've ever heard this song. Oh, you hear Stomp? Well, you gotta think. Oh man, you missing out, bro. Like, I, didn't I was I was sleep at church most of the time, but <laughs> that also came out like ninety seven, ninety eight though. So yeah. Yeah, I wasn't seven in the nineties yeah. like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Thank you. That was that, Thank that you. was. <laughs> I think it's true too, right? Joy. It's true also. That's the funny part. Yeah, I was 7 to 99. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, shit. That's why I laughed. That's why I laughed. <laughs> it's funny because he's fat. <laughs> Wait, that's from Austin Powers, ain't it? Huh? Ain't that from Austin Powers? It's funny because he's, he's, he's fat. I think so. I want to say gold member. No, 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 no. It ain't gold member. It's funny because he's fat. It's a uh, hangover. <laughs> Yes, the Chinese nigga Chinese was laughing at Zach Galifianakis. Yeah. He's, he's funny because he's fat. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, gotcha. You're right. All right, you're right. Um, <laughs> he said name him Carlos. Yeah, man. Prayers per- out to Kurt Franklin's family, man. I hope that oh, shit gets wow. sorted out. Uh, that shit funny as fuck, though. That's between y'all, I'm about to say. And I, I laughed. Mean, I, seen, I seen somebody quote the tweet or whatever. It was like, <laughs> shit. I don't see no wrong. Basically, I'm saying I don't see nothing Kirk did was wrong because he called him a bitch ass nigga and his son leaked the audio. Because a bitch ass nigga shit. Yeah. yeah, I'm on Kirk Franklin's side for sure, bro. I'm not on this. The son is a hoe. Oh, I'm like, fuck you want, bro. Your dad's Kirk care. Franklin, nigga. Cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, bro, if my dad was Kirk Franklin, nigga, like, what, bro? <laughs> yeah, Your dad's Kirk Franklin. Cooperate. Nigga, we, we, we'll be out of here, nigga, if my dad was. <laughs> Would we be cussing your 30 year old ass out? <laughs> I wouldn't put us in that position, man. I would only put us in this position went, to you win. Went, you we'll all have beamers and turn the bitches into believers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of episode what this is, is today. Right I really don't know what's going on today. What is happening? <laughs> y'all funny, Jim. Yeah, like, let y'all handle that shit up between y'all. I don't got nothing to really say on that. Oh shit! Um, now I'm thinking about it. Uh, Does anybody follow his son on Instagram? No, nigga, I didn't know he had a son. I know he had kids. I didn't know that it was like a strange relationship with a 33 year old nigga that's leaking audio on some whole shit. It might not be no shit. We don't know what they go through behind the closed doors. It might be perfectly justified for him to put something out like that. We don't know how that nigga was as a father. You serve a great point. I just I don't believe in the leaking <laughs> shit, but. Then again, that might need to be heard. Um, can I tell you about the situation that I randomly thought about earlier this week? Yes, please. Um, all right. First off, shout out to shout out to my cousin Carson. Uh, he's a listener. I think y'all y'all met yeah. at the barbecue. Yeah. No. Or at Laurie. Laurie. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Carson, man. Um, Cause you said he was thirty, right? No, me and Carson are the same age. He'll be 29 in June, I'll be 29 in August. <laughs> I think I got a roast you for being old. He was like, being the same age. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Like, what now? Type shit. Like. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. So, take it back to, fuck, 02, 03. Damn. It's one of his uh, birthday parties. He used to throw these crazy-ass birthday parties where, uh, shout out to Uncle Jake, his dad would uh, set up... The um, bounce house. Like each room with a different game console. Ooh. So it'd be N64 in one room, Dreamcast in one room, PS2 in one room. That's fine. Um, and then like a gaming PC in the other room. So Mongo Jake is like really into IT and shit. So he's like, with computers, that nigga's like a prophet. We got playing on a computer in the 90s. Pinball? No, nah, he was up on it, bro. Like he had like fucking uh, 
He had a, he had a real tournament on the PC, and that shit was smooth. I don't know what that is. It's a shooting game. Hmm. It's a shooting game. But yeah, he was yeah he was like, like a war shooting game or like yeah, a Marvel Devil Seven joint. Like a uh, like a, almost kind of like a Halo vibe to it. Gotcha. Like bro, he told me a story like earlier, like a few days ago, bro, where him and like two, my, uh, two of their uncles walked from uh, t- West Side Twenty Ninth Street, like Riverside Park area, to Lafayette Square Mall. To get the Sega Genesis, they walked. Yes, to get in the, the snow. Did that. Oh, in the snow, that's in the different. Snow. Yeah, what kind of boots they have? This was like 90, 1990. Whew. Yeah, in Indiana, with the yeah. proper equipment, I could have seen myself doing that. But I would have did it too. Bro. I'm not why. gonna hold you. Yeah. I would have did it too with the proper with the proper gear. I would I could I would have I would have did it too. too. But. I laughed though when he told me that shit. I was like, yeah. that's crazy." Cause he he be on my ass about like, cause I told him about how I, I came down for the Xbox and shit. Mm, he and he was like, "Damn, that's." He was like, well, he, "He didn't say damn. He don't cuss." But he was like, "That's crazy." Um, but back to the story though. So, party is lit. You feel me? At, at, at my cousin Carson's <laughs> crib, me and Speedway and shit. And it's this one nigga there, bro. That like Carson is cool with, bro. But I don't like this nigga, man. <laughs> Like he like it's like me and him just like we just it's, he always has some some smart shit to say and it's like bro like I'm not a bitch bro That's if you want to fight up. we can go outside and fight because that's where I'm mad with it bro yeah I remember this is little Jalen a lot of animosity built up and this you is all me? a dream no this is not <laughs> no, a dream this is, really this, this, this is some shit that happened and oh. I just I remember it happening gotcha. and I'm like I still. I was about to be like, in the Damn. moment, I was thinking, Wait, why did he think this was a dream? Where no, did he get no, 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 this ain't a dream. No, this really happened. Because I remember him saying, okay. Yeah, right, I, yeah. I've, I've had some wild ass dreams, though. He didn't it's have a dream. Good. Yeah, it's I've really had some wild ass dreams, for sure. I've had some wild ass dreams. All right, but all right. this particular nigga, bro, I didn't like the nigga. He always has a smart shit to say. And then on top of that, in true Jalen fashion, this nigga, like, had the motherfucker, he had the bitch that I, like, I really had, like, had a crush on type shit. Like, they was going together. And it's like, bro, like, Y'all I really. knew each other this well. That's crazy, okay. Yeah, bro. I didn't like this nigga, bro. I didn't didn't like this nigga, bro. You know what they say, though? I don't know. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. (laughs) I I think Nas said that. Really? Yeah. I'm trying to give it to Nas. He didn't originate it, but like <laughs> that's where you heard it. That's, that's where I heard it. He said, so. That's where it originated that, for me. That, that's, that's where it hit home when Nas said it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hit different. But <laughs> okay, so <laughs> so we're at the party, bro, and we're just we're, we're just like you know what I'm saying. Everybody's like chilling, playing the game and shit, and then we end up all being in like the same room. Everybody's at the party playing mm-hmm. PS2 and shit. So everybody's in the PS2 room? Yeah, 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 Wait, yeah. is the girl at the party too or that was just, no, a, that was no. just a, another reason? That's just a, it just, gotcha. that's just the kind of way this picture so like niggas list. know, so niggas can know where the animosity, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so they, yeah. niggas can know how I'm coming. Not only did I not like this nigga, he fucking my bitch. Yeah, like, come so on, yeah, like. niggas can know where, like, where I'm coming from like when I tell the full story. Like, right, gotcha. they can see, bitch, like I'm just trying, trying to pay the pension for niggas. So, we me in the room chilling and shit and, uh, as like the night goes on and shit, I think me and him might have ended up like playing like a game against each other, and he might have beat me, and he got to talking shit. And I'm like, all right, like I'm letting him get his shit off, and then we started like joining back and forth and shit. Like I called him like a light skinned ass nigga or some shit like that. I, I can't remember what I went, with, but it wasn't really hidden. Right. Like he was, he was, he was really, he was winning the Joan contest. Yeah. Like he was talking about my head. Oh, shape no, wait, talk. wait, wait. So let's just for the listeners, let's tally it up. He already get those other nerves. One. The girl that he like like him. Two. He beat him in the game. Three. Now he went in the road session. You four and oh. Go ahead. Continue. So, no, you I, lost I, the no, series. No, 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 I didn't. Okay. I'm really he three one. You. I'm really three oh, one oh, right ahead, now. I'm three one. But I'm about to be on some Cavalier shit in 2016. Just check this All out. Right, bet. All right. So Explain that. He's going they crazy. Came back from a three one league. Yeah. He's going crazy like with the Jordan contest, roasting my head, shape size, and all this shit. And as I'm just like letting him say all this shit, I'm like, I got this one thing in the back of my mind that I can throw out and it can be disrespectful and he can want to fight me. I don't care because I want to fight this nigga anyway. So I'm going to say this shit. That was a choke card. So yeah, facts. Yeah. So I just say, at least my mom's not a fat fuck. <laughs> you a rude as hell. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why does Reese Bobby do it? Good. Like, nigga, I don't like you anyway, bro. Stop fucking talking to me, bitch ass nigga. I don't fuck it. I don't fuck with you like that, nigga. And you already go out with the girl that I have a crush on, bitch, nigga. Fuck you. Like, like yeah. So we can go outside and and do that, nigga, if you want to, nigga. Fuck you. What's up? <laughs> hey, y'all, Jalen, hilarious. No, keep going. <laughs> no, he was like, he was like, he was like, he was like. 
it, bro, everybody in the room was like, like gassed and shit. Like, like I took like, it too far. Oh. Yeah, yeah, like everybody, yeah, everybody, yeah, yeah, everybody like, like, I took, like I took it too far and shit. Like, nigga, this thing has been on my head the whole fucking party. Now I, I'm the one that's fucking out of line. Fuck that shit, bro. Oh my yes, God. your mom's a fat fuck. Do something about it, bro. I oh, said it. Oh now what? Oh. He, he gonna say some? Damn, you had to really. He he brought he brought moms into it. Yeah, I, and I said yeah, I did. Do something about it. I'm telling you what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, bro. But it's like, again, like I said, I've already got so much animosity just off of the way that my life. But nobody is going. knows this, so they're looking at you like, wow. Carson knows what I'm going through. Car- so Carson, so Carson, so Carson is just like <laughs> he the only one. Because Car- because Carson, because if we end up fighting, bro, and if and if, and if like niggas get on funny shit, Carson is on my side off rip. Right. But like Carson is trying to like play the field, but it's like. My nigga, I already already told y'all I don't like this nigga, bro. So it's like, it's why like, is he even here? And that's just that's that's selfish of me, bro. It's his birthday. It's his birthday party, so I, I don't dictate shit for real. But that's how I'm thinking, at, like at ten years old. But it's like, you know what? You want to invite this nigga? This nigga gonna fucking fill my fucking rag. <laughs> He's like, I'm the best, better friend. Yeah, like nigga, no, fuck that nigga. This, this is my cousin, nigga. Fuck what you talking about, nigga. I, I know, but I'm. I'd be over I'm here good. every day, nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck. You was that oh, kind of kid. Bro, yeah, like, nigga, like. Bro, and you gotta remember, this is around the time Dead Jim and Dedda came out, too, bro. So, like. You was feeling uh, us. We could be bro, friends. Yeah, yeah, I just know we could be friends. Oh, bro. Was a, yeah. Nigga, I was a dick. Yeah, yeah a kid, we could have been friends. As a kid, I was a dick, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was like, Mom, we can't go back to the I was a dick and like, I was very, very spoiled, bro. And if shit didn't go my way, bro, then, like. Bro, he was like that. Yeah, bro. Like, my sister was like that. Yeah. We used to fight. Yeah, bro. So, like, we I was kind of a. I was like. A low, I wasn't like a bad military brat, mm-hmm. but like I, I was of the echelon of a military brat. Like I never went without, and if I didn't get my way, did like, anybody I, snitch on you for talking shit about his mama? No, because I was ready to fight. Like I, I was ready to fuck that party up, bro. So like, what happened after you? After he said you, he didn't say nothing. Like Carson, like everybody just act like I was like the person that fucked the party up. Like, like I like I fucked the vibe up, gotcha. and so niggas was a fuck with me. Like, like so it yeah, backfired on. Yeah, niggas was a fuck with me after the party type shit. Like, like everybody was just well, like, gentlemen, is your cousin that ruined shit gonna be there? Yeah, I mean, type, uh, Carson. Yeah, yeah, yeah type shit, shit type shit. Like I was an outcast type shit. Like wait, Jalen gonna be? Uh, all right, we'll, uh, we'll see. I think that might have we'll been see. the last like sleepover party type shit. Like, <laughs> Car- like Carson just had like family shit after that, and then he had like shit with his homies who he went to school with. I wasn't invited to the shit that the homies that been made it this like, I, like I, I was part of the family celebration type yeah. shit, but like niggas that was in like the neighborhood and shit like came through and shit, so like I wasn't really fucked up. That's yes. funny. But Carson funny. already knew what it was. Like, I told like, me and Carson had conversations about this. Shit. I was like, fam, like, cause I, I would tell him I was like, bro, like. It's getting to the point Wait, what to where bro say? He said, he said, he said, I'll drop kick that motherfucker. What do you remember on Step Brothers? He said, if he looks at me, he does to me. What do you say to the nigga? I'll drop kick that motherfucker. Me and him had conversations when I was like, bro, like, if this, if this nigga, the nigga that's what fam, it was. I told him, I said, bro, if this nigga, like, tries me, bro, like, I don't care, bro. Like I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like I'm going there, bro. So just Carson already knew. So that's why Carson didn't see that nigga. Yeah, that's why that's why Carson didn't really say shit because he was like, it was. It was like it was inevitable to happen because me and him had, had little like back and forth. Like it would be on the, it didn't matter. It would be on the basketball court, in the video games, anything, bro. Me and him just always had like a little shit with each other. Maybe he wanted to be your rival. Maybe he looked up to you. He was like, I he was older than me. He movie. was older than me, bro. I don't mean he couldn't have been a rival. <laughs> yeah, I recently learned that doesn't mean anything. And at that space, bro. Did he in, call you in that big age? Bro? No. <laughs> at that, you're funny as fuck. At, at that, at that age. Call him because. Yeah, at that age, bro. It was like he thought he was older than me, so he could like yeah. hold me. But it's like, bro. No. Yeah, I remember, bro. Like back then, bro. Like I come from like playing like football at Riverside and shit, bro. Where it's like you had a little brutness. Yeah, yeah bro. It, means. Okay, gotcha. it's it's in the hood yeah, and shit, bro. It, and it's right. like, yeah, it's like. Going from rowdy. like suburban yeah. to like yeah. being around a bunch of hood niggas and shit. You playing best of both worlds. You was Franklin in first season. Hood niggas at 10? Yeah, like, for sure. Nigga bro. on Riverside? For sure, yes. bro. Yes. Yes, bro. I, I, I said, I started this with saying, I don't know what that means. Right. Yeah, bro. Yes, <laughs> yes. bro. Dad's Club was not no joke, bro. Rest in peace to Lil Noob, too. But yeah, that was not no joke, bro. I played, me and him played on Chiefs together. He was a running back. He used to score hella touchdowns. <laughs> Is that a nickname? He was a rapper. Got you. City. Yeah. Got you. I used to play on the 49ers In the league For real? Mm-hmm. And I don't think Dad's Club had the 49ers though. I was in, in Mind you where Like It wasn't Dad's Club? Age. No 
But I used to play over in Riverside. Okay, got you, got you, got you. They probably added them then, yeah, because we are, yeah, I'm, I'm hella older than you. I was about to say yeah. that shit probably happened during the time. Um, so was you there trying to little bro T Rose? Relax, I just told no, you. No, down effect. No, I didn't stay. I didn't stay with Dad's club because I didn't make the All Star team, and my dad was really <laughs> upset about that. I was upset about it too because I was going crazy that year. Wait, so they they had an All Star game. They had an all-star team that traveled and played, and that, like, helped you get exposure and shit. Oh. Uh, yeah, and I didn't make it, but I was, like, going crazy. Like, I was, like, leading the team with blocks and, like, tackles and shit, but, like, I wasn't I wasn't scoring on offense because I didn't – I was on the line. So, they just looked at me as, like, an extra nigga on the line. But it's, like, y'all niggas, like, recruited me from the league I was originally in. So, I ended up going back to the Pike League. Gotcha. Yeah. But, um. Shout out to Carson, though, man. Fuck the nigga, uh, whoever his name is. I forget his name. <laughs> That's crazy on his name. Like, it might, it might be CJ. It might be CJ. It might be CJ. Fuck you, nigga. <clears throat> um, and what's the other thing Wait. I had to talk about? CJ. He to the podcast. How old is he? He listened to the podcast. He was older than me, bro. He was like... I was 10, bro. He was like 13. He was older than Carson, because Carson is a, is a grade older than me. What's so he was this? They were going to Capital City at the time. The Capital City's downtown. That's a seven day Adventist church, but they had a school too. Hold on. I was finna say, what did you just say to me? My next, I thought you were talking about, you said, okay, but I'm you're talking about the type of church, the type of church, like that shit. But seven day Adventist. Yeah. I think I'm talking about it on this on the podcast. You have, but I really don't, what do you I don't like? really know what that means. He, there's a, a bitch ass light skinned nigga, bro. That's all I can think all right, about. He, he light skinned. Never mind. I thought you were talking about my cousin. Y'all about the same age. I was about to fight you. Hey man, I fight a nigga today, right now, That's bro. That's fine. We're gonna have to. Hey. You, gonna be f- you fight that nigga today? Just, yeah, bro. Cause it's like a lot of them shit. A lot of that shit still was on my mind sometimes. Like, this nigga really had me fucked up. And it bro. just came back to you. He was roasting me, bro. I was just no, the, the, the was jokes was good. The mean, jokes was good too. About, That's what like, pissed me off. I'm talking about the whole scenario. Like this just came. Give us the joke. Yeah. Please don't. All right. All right, hold on. You see this, but look, if you've ever seen the older picture of Jalen, that nigga's head shape is mighty flammable. Like, so I'm interested. <laughs> but in I the understand jokes. my head was mighty flammable. Okay, so I know, nigga. No, I see no, face no but my, no, my, no, mine is worse, though, bro. Damn, nigga, I used to bro, fam, I used to have the chili bowl. Yeah, so like, the haircut. Yes. My shit was so like that, yeah that. so like head shape just like out there, nigga. How do you get that with your texture? <laughs> like Rock Lee, nigga. Bro, like. Niggas used to call me the fucking peanuts on Proud Family. <laughs> yeah, bro. I got bro, fam. Niggas used to go crazy with the jokes on my ass, bro. Don't even trip. That's I, what I'm saying. So it's like, so it's like, bro. Like, nigga, I was Jordan from Bernie Mac for all through middle school. <laughs> <laughs> you had the glasses too? <laughs> Malcolm, yes, nigga. <laughs> Oh shit! Yo, so hey, y'all niggas is hilarious. So yeah, bro. It's all so, right. Like, my so like, bro, <laughs> damn, a, a lot of animosity, bro. Cause like this nigga was really roasting, playing with my shit, bro. So I had to throw the mom joke out there. Nigga, I get it. Like, get like nigga, you 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 fucking with the bitch that I want for real. You already played my. You beat me in every fucking video game. Like you, every time me and you play against each other in basketball, your team wins. <laughs> You should've just hit, you should've better off hitting. You should've, you should've, should've just stole off on the nigga. I was like, bro, I'm in, my, I'm in my aunt uncle's house, bro. They, like, that's what that's the family that I moved to Huntsville with when I moved to Huntsville God, type God, shit. So it's like, it's like, the relationship is like bring real. It huh? Did they bring that up? <laughs> they didn't know. They didn't oh, know. Oh yeah, I forgot. They the never knew about like, it. It just, yeah, it stayed yeah, yeah, within yeah. us type shit and it didn't escalate because Carson was just like, chill, Jalen, chill out type shit. Because I, I, I was, I was born a vibe. I'm going to keep it a bug. I was born a vibe when I said that shit. Like, but at the time, you know, that was I didn't even, care, bro. Because yeah. I'm thinking about like, nigga, you had me fucked up for like about a year now, bro. And but like, look, now he you had you be... fucked up, but he didn't even know you had that. In, he knew in what he was doing. He knew what he was doing, bro. As far as back and shorty, the girl I don't think he knew about you in basketball. And being you in basketball, I don't think he knew about me liking shorty. Carson knew. Carson knew that it had been building up. That's all I'm saying. Like, he shouldn't have had us in the same function. So you blaming him? Because it's like. You should stay your ass at home. That's where it's Nigga, that's right. my cousin. Nigga, the fuck? Nigga. And he want to enjoy his birthday party. He don't want you ruining this shit. Nigga, you ruined the vibe. You, you got Pizza Hut stuff crushed when the Jays came out and you got all the games. Nigga. Like, he I'm said, coming, hey, I nigga. pull it up. Fuck. <laughs> I pull it up. Malcolm, it's, it's 2002, Malcolm. I've never been a fan of Pizza Hut. Not even the stuff crushed? I've never, bro, Pizza Hut's the worst pizza I've ever had in my life. Really? Yeah. I, give sauce, me, give like, me Little Caesars every like time over Pizza Hut. Like a sauce? What? Damn, that's a bold statement. Like a sauce, though? Is that why? Because they, do they don't have a lot of sauce on their pizza, Pizza Hut. It's just, it tastes like cardboard. 
over Lil Caesars, do you think? I yeah. think Lil Caesars to, Well, see, have I talked about it over here about my disdain for Lil Caesars? Oh, no. no Does it come from college? No, it comes from okay, damn. All right. Uh so when my mom and dad got divorced, my mom was kind of like down bad a little bit. And we used to like eat little Caesars like all the time. They would have like a special like on Monday. And that was, and Mondays were the days that she would get me and Jalid. You got little Caesars out. You got little bro, Caesars like, out. I, I cannot, like I, like even when I'm DoorDash, bro, I hate going inside little Caesars, bro. Little Caesars, I mean, <laughs> excuse Caesar. me. Little Caesars, excuse me. I'm like, a little lit, bro. I don't like, uh, I don't like goddamn, uh, what's it called? Pizza Hut? No. Beans and wieners. I don't like that shit. We beans Word. and wieners. Yeah. Or whatever the fuck. I can't, I can't of, eat beef stew either, man. My mom used to make that all the fucking time when I was a kid. Beef stew. Beef, beef stew. stew? Yeah, bro. It would have like the, the fucking steak pieces and the fucking ugly ass onions. And, like a homemade beef stew. Bro, it's like fuck, a certain thing. Oh I can no longer eat cabbage and sausage. Bro, right. Like, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I used to do the most of the. T- were you, were, you, were any of you like a. Uh, a kid that like did the most when they didn't want to eat something, like they would like damn near like force themselves to throw up. I, I did, but beef uh, stew, that was my beef stew and uh and uh meatloaf. Those are the two meals where I would make myself throw up because I hate. If I didn't want to eat it, I would just eat it. Like, to this day, I, I like I hate meatloaf to this day, bro. That's meatloaf? why I can eat. Like yeah, I used to like fire. cornbread too, but like remember he you make cornbread at the crib, mm-hmm. and I would be like I'm good. Like I can't like my mom used to over make cornbread, bro. So it's like now I can't. I can't really enjoy cornbread. Bro. My mom made cornbread a lot too, but her cornbread was always fire, so I like. He wouldn't really. trip. So it's something <laughs> I would stuck. never make myself throw up for food. I love food, bro. Like even food that you don't like. I try. I mean, I try anything. If I don't like it, I still eat it. It's food. Like I'm not See, waste it. I think we've had this conversation not on podcast, but I think I've told you about how I used to yeah, get forced I, to eat shit. Because I um oh yeah the, the Nutrigrain bars yeah yeah yeah. yeah. That wasn't a podcast on podcast conversation. I don't feel like it was. I'm was not. It? I want to say it was, but I'm not 100. percent That might have been. On, if it was, it was like it was like early and like pre. No, that was pre pot talk. It was pre pot. Pre pot talk. talk. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But right. yeah, but yeah, it was like break. shit like that though, bro. That used to happen a lot, bro. Like it would be like on some like interrogation room, like nigga, eat this shit or you're getting your ass beat. So would it be like? Um, Okay, I'm kind of a little confused on the, the Nutrigrain bar thing. But that like, was like a bar. I do, I do understand. He would, he would like, make me take with me to school, and I would just like put his shits in my... Like, I had like a locker full of Nutrigrain bars, bro. Like, I wouldn't eat them shits. Damn, you would just go hungry? I don't know. He would he would slide me money for lunch money, and I would fucking go to outtakes early in the morning before class, before like, you know what I'm saying? The Outtakes? This is high school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, bro. Nigga, you couldn't just eat the Nutrigrain bar as a, as a fucking high schooler? I didn't like it. I didn't like mm-hmm. it, bro. That's it was nasty terrible. to me. So it's like, and why? Do you one day, bro. One day, when I go back to therapy for real, forever, I'm gonna just like un like unlace all the high school trauma that I have, bro, so I can like let it go and like never talk about it again. Because I really don't like talking about it. Because it's like, it's fried. When people talk about their relationships with their parents, I'm always a little bit confused. Can you explain? Because I've like always, I don't know, like I've. I've never really been one to like waver or like fold in that situation. Like I would like See like, I, I coming from like where like how like my high school years went, I admire that, bro. I wish I would have uh had that mind state. And I don't really know where that comes from. But um like when my parents were like used to try to make me apologize for shit, I'd be like, I'm not sorry, why would I apologize? I was like, cause then like you want to, you want me to I'm like, you asked me to lie when that's y'all tell me like, lying that, is like, wrong. That's, like, that's how I felt. So type shit. Is that where you're going with that? Like, like that's how you felt? Yeah, it's like, shit. like I'm not yeah. sorry. I'm not finna sit here and lie to them and be like, oh, I'm sorry because you feel like I should be sorry. Like, me apologizing is not gonna make me sorry. And, like, if I had to do something, like, I would ask why. Because it's like, help me understand why this needs to be done so we don't have to go through this again. Hmm. Because the next time you try to tell me to do it, I'm gonna ask why again. And we're gonna be back in the same position. So we can get it over with now or you can deal with this every time you try to make me do something. That's understandable. So, what were you like your punishment? That's a good had, question. If you had, like, I just didn't know that too. I didn't. I never really got in trouble. Really? So they never like punish you, like for what? I mean, I I don't know. I, I didn't do know. shit. So let me ask this: <laughs> Like, so you, if I did shit, I didn't get caught. Out of the three of y'all, yeah, because you learned from them two niggas, bro. <laughs> it was like, we you had two fuck ups prior, yeah. So, yeah, bro. so it's like, yeah, so you already knew the game type shit. It was Marty. It was- <laughs> 
It was Martin. I'm not gonna lie, bro. All the attention was on that nigga fucking something up because Damn. he would get caught. I'm not gonna uh, lie, bro. I'm like, how are you getting caught all the time? Like, I, I feel like you've told this story on here before, bro. But the funniest shit ever that you've said to me, bro. Not the funniest shit you said to me, bro. But the funniest shit as far as like your parents. <laughs> Is when Marcus like when they figured out that Marcus smoked weed. Oh my and then, god! You, you said you said your dad tried to fake like he didn't know. He was like, <laughs> "What is the, the, what? The, 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 the boy smoking weed? What? <laughs> Dang it, that shit, yeah, that shit had me crying. Like I can like that even meeting your dad, but like meeting your mom, bro. Like I can just like picture your mom just being so upset and your dad trying to like fake the funk to like so she don't think that he so, yeah. so, 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 so your dad don't get in trouble too like shit like he like oh, after I deal with this like, I'm like, coming after like, you he was like, acting scared though like, he said nah think about it acting scared I'm about to tell you about that like hey you were scared of Miles wasn't you like you were scared he was like don't lie either you were scared of Miles wasn't you I'm gonna ask you that's funny as hell, but yeah, Damn. man. Because Marcus got oh, called a few times. I remember one time I was at the, I was at the kitchen, and it's funny because um, Marcus never got caught when we would smoke weed. It would always be the times when he would go and smoke without me. Oh, and I'm like, that's shit. the dumbass get. Damn. Look at you. Look at you. That's but, crazy. <laughs> but honestly, bro, like, I don't know how it took my parents so long to find out we smoked, bro. Because, like, I'm going to just paint the picture mm. and just be fully with it. Mm. So, look. The year is 2012, right? Yeah. Marty out of school. He still he still at the crib. He working and shit. Mm-hmm. Marcus. It's 2012, right? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Marcus fucking uh, like a junior in high school. I'm a sophomore, right? Mm-hmm. So we smoke. All of us, mind, mind you, we all in my auntie crib smoking. Like damn near every day in the summertime, right? Mm-hmm. So we come back to the crib. We may get home like... Within 20 to 30 minutes of each other, because we don't leave the session and get food, depending on where they just get food from, you're gonna be yeah. at different times. Like, yeah. so we pull up to the crib, it's me, Marcus, and Bree, like 9.9 times out of 10. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sometimes, like, Gianna or LJ might be there, sometimes Austin might be there, right? Got you. And on, a, and probably like four times mm-hmm. out of 10, D come back with Marty. So it's D, Marty, me, Marcus, Brick. It's five niggas coming five out niggas. smelling like straight gas. Yeah. For months and months on end. And niggas don't get popped till like what um July maybe? Mm-hmm. And this shit been going on since April. Damn. <laughs> probably, probably like, that's just like just to paint the ratio of the picture. It's probably, I'm sure it's been going on longer than that. Right, right. But like. That that was said, so and nobody movie. said nothing. like nobody. But look, the one time like this nigga Marcus, like we got uh, the one time that nigga Marcus got questioned. Me and Bree was already in the room chilling, you know what I'm saying? Probably watching Netflix, editing videos, or whatever the fuck we was fucking doing. And this nigga in the hallway, high as fuck, stuck. And my mama say something, and I'm like, <laughs> I was like, we was I said they was smoking a hookah where we was at, right? So so for like eight months or to a year, my mama think the weed smell is hookah, right? Oh. <laughs> so we was, we was coasting off that for damn near a year. Then <laughs> said we are good, guys. We are good. We just smell like hookah. <laughs> we was coasting off that for damn near a year. And then like I don't know what happened. I'm like, like, you you were the one to explain that it was hookah, or Marcus yes. was. Marcus was hot. That nigga was stuck. So that, like, nigga was in the hallway. that nigga was in the hallway Cause mind y'all rooms Is right next to each other Me and Marcus That nigga in the hallway Like cause like It go my room Marcus room There's a little wall right here To my parents room yeah. Right across the hallway yeah, From mine yeah, yeah, yeah. So like they like Where the rooms meet In the hallway right yeah. Stuck And my mom's talking about A smell And I was like What are you talking about I said oh It's probably the hookah Cause like niggas be smoking Hookah and shit Cause we used to be at Stacy and uh, Julie. When was, the, when was the time that she figured out that that wasn't a hookah smell? Bro, I, honestly, I couldn't <laughs> tell you. I couldn't tell you. I don't know when. <laughs> Cause she called it hookah. <laughs> she said, "I smell that hookah," and this is it. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, wow, what are you talking about? But like, hey, was snapping too. She was snapping too. Type shit. She ain't about the hookah smell. <laughs> like, smell like your laundry and this, 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 and that. And then I'm just like. Oh, shit. The hooker smell. I was just like, wow, this is crazy. My dad probably in the room like, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, did he ever put you to the side? Like, that ain't like, the hooker I ever heard. Did he ever put you to the side? I was like, yo, y'all got to chill, baby. Y'all better get that high. 
asking me like, yeah, 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 y'all coming? Because that would have been me. Like, straight, like yeah, nah. hey, hey, little nigga, like the only I time told you, but <laughs> chill, nigga. God damn, man, you making this shit hot in this motherfucker. <laughs> but then what if I want to hear something? Yeah, like, yeah, nigga, <laughs> what if I want to smoke a little hookah, quote unquote, nigga? <laughs> little hooker. Yeah. Hey. Uh, what if I want to smoke some? God damn, nigga. Nigga, spray only yourself down air out for you. Making this fire hot. No, let's talk about that. Really, okay, because look. This is this is where most of my confusion comes from from that the hookah situation. Yeah, yeah. Way before this, we all had a sit down about us already smoking weed. Well, we already <laughs> told them we smoked weed. So my confusion. You had a, you had a was, family meeting with you, Marcus, and Marty. Guess why? Guess who got popped and blew the spot up? Marty. No. Think wider. Austin. Austin. Yes. Austin. 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 <laughs> Bro, he's yeah. a thick liner. Bro, this nigga go to a Ritter party that get popped for like underage drinking and drugs and shit. And so he get caught like as like with some bullshit at school and shit. Yeah, he needs to go to Ritter. Yeah. And so mind you, that was ninth grade. What I just told you was the next year. The meeting or when the when the, the awesome situation happened, ninth grade. Like okay. the, the, the whole situation the happened like uh, no, no, no. We had it that same time. About oh. like let him know what's up. So like the next time year out, goes, so, time out. Let me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So with the Austin situation, right? Yes. Was that a situation where it was like in the family, and then your mom was like, "Okay, like let's let's talk about this." Not this even my mom. My dad just. My dad just. Uh, I guess my dad texted everybody separately. Like, do y'all be doing this? Like, do you be doing this or this or whatever? I don't even remember what he said. I think he said something about weed. I was like, yeah. Oh, your dad didn't know. Didn't know. Not at that time. Really? No, because that was early. Early. Was he fucked up when y'all knew? When he figured out that y'all smoked? Uh, or was he just like I get it? I feel like I feel like they was both shitty, but like really, your dad was shitty. You said you said they sound Most disappointed. Likely. Yeah, really. Yeah. Oh no, you was talking about your mom. Never mind. Just from I haven't like I said I haven't met him, but like your dad doesn't come up as the type to be shitty about that. He comes up more so as the type to be like not happy I mean, about you it. Think I was like 14, 13 years old. That's that's pretty early. It's early, but like. You got to think it's 2012 and it's weed. Just me being realistic and not being naive. Well, like my, dad's, was, my dad's whole problem with weed is the money situation. Got you. Okay. That's my dad's whole okay. problem with it. Got okay. you. Okay. We're just going to where, I was with, where I was about to go, bro. It's been on the period like, type shit. Knowing what I know now and going back to that time where it was niggas in my age, at that age, ninth grade, smoking weed and shit, I totally fucking get it as far as like... Dog, like, if I would have been exposed to that shit to really smoke it, I would have definitely been smoking weed in ninth grade. Only reason why I wasn't fucking smoking in high school is because I was fucking hella sheltered and my dad was in my business to the T. So I couldn't really get away with smelling like it or none of that, bro, because I was going to have to fucking feel that nigga's wrath when I got to the crib. Mm. But, like, I I get it, though. (laughs) I get it for sure. So Mm. that, so, and I feel like, I don't know, bro. I don't know, just based off of what I've heard about your dad, bro, and just the conversation me and you have had and shit, like, yeah, see, I, I feel like he would have been, like, not cool he probably, with he it, probably understood but that. not fucked up. Like, more understanding, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Hmm. Raz, like, you can see why my dad would never be understanding about that shit. I wouldn't really say my dad's an understanding person. Really? I wouldn't really describe him as such. As far as, like, that? Um... Hmm. I'm talking about certain situations, like, but that situation specifically, like, hmm, maybe. But my dad ain't never really been a weed smoker. Okay, all right, okay. So it's like, got you. My mom used, uh, that from what I'm told, she the one used to blow it down. That's funny as fuck. Ain't you know, it? That, and that's why I had a problem. Why well, my mom always had a problem with me smoking weed? Because once I, f- nigga, my dad was the man, was the fucking plug. What you mean? Mm. She was literally always there. She was like India. I told you like my mom used to smoke weed too, right? I guess. <laughs> I guess. Thanks <laughs> to police. Nah, did I tell you that my mom used to smoke weed too? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Does it make sense though that she used to smoke weed? Not really. No. For real? Not from what you the stuff you say. You just, 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 just wouldn't say cracker. Just even if y'all just even if, if y'all like meeting her one time? The vibe, yes. But what I know, like from what I come to know about her, no. Okay. But the vibe, the energy, yes, definitely. Okay. Bro, and she like she won't like do an edible or none of that, bro. Like now, like nowadays, it's like after I was born, bro, she was cool. That was probably my mm. mom. I should have asked her that. That's probably same thing with my dad too. Same thing with my dad too. Like after I was born, bro, because my dad used to blow it down for real too. But mm. like after I was born, like to this day, bro, he be on my ass about like not being on it. Mm. And so is it? Is like the same thing I was talking about with my dad, like the money thing. 
He tries to throw that in there, and it, but it's like he don't really have a real reason. Because I, I feel like I've talked about the reasons why I smoked before. Early. To your dad? Not even to my dad, but like to y'all. Oh, like, yeah, like yeah. why I do it type yeah. shit. Like, okay, so let me ask this: Why did you start? What was the initial reason where you was like, "Let me see what weed is like"? I think I told y'all. Is it positive or the, negative? You can just answer that. You ain't got to go deep into it. I didn't kind of got to explain it to see if it's positive because I don't know if it's positive or negative. Bro. Okay, because mine was very negative, which is why um, you go first thing. Because I feel like I've told my story. Why you I don't feel like you ever told the story on here before, so you go first. Um, I don't want to tell it. I'll tell okay. on Patreon. Okay, okay. I'll tell on Patreon. Fair enough. Fair enough. But um, <clears throat> it was negative. So there was uh, like freshman year, there was a few um. A month where I stopped smoking because okay. I wanted my reason to smoke weed to be something positive. Got you. And when I when I um you when found I found its link with my creativity is when I started smoking again. I was like, bet. My shit evolved into that type shit. Um, See, my shit evolved into an everyday thing. It was the creative shit. Mm -hmm. Um, which I think I'm kind of straying away from the everyday thing now as of lately. Like sometimes it makes you feel really really uh, lethargic, and I don't like that. But just to continue. Uh, I started smoking weed like seriously uh, when I got the F on that art project of my self portrait. I think I have posted it on Instagram a few times. Yeah, that self portrait that I posted, the blue, the blue one. You got an F on that? Yeah, like completely. I got an F on that, bro. God damn. For some reason, you saying that reminds me of Claude's self portrait in high school. Because when I was at when I had computer graphics, the teacher used his as an example of how to do it right, and I was like, I know this nigga. <laughs> like, Shout out to Claude. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got an F on that, bro. Damn, that's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that bitch ass nigga that was the teacher. Fake ass white Jesus. This that's is what that Vincent's? Like. That's what white it looked Jesus. like. This is that Vincent's, right? Yeah, for sure. It was at Vincent's. <laughs> it's, I, I, academically, up. I don't have a lot of good memories of Vincent's, but as far as like my niggas and like everything <laughs> else, like shout out to Vincent's. Shout out to Chillin' Abe, too. He used to be going up. Uh... So why did you start smoking again? Yeah, I got F on that project, bro. And my nigga, shout out to Thomas. My nigga Thomas had a uh, blunt road already. He was like, fuck it, let me hit and that like, shit. And like I told, I, I was in there venting the niggas like, bro, like I just got an F on this shit. And I showed them the fucking shit. And they was all laughing, but it was like, it's funny, but it looks like you. And the fact that you got an F, like it don't deserve no fucking F, if anything. like Because yeah. it's art. That's because, bro, the house that I was at, bro, it was a nigga in there that's an actual artist, bro, that like be doing... Like to this day, bro, this nigga be painting sculptures so and shit. So the curriculum was kind of so he was just like he was like fam. He was like you can tell that you that you don't like really draw for real, but this shit is not bad, right? Like so, yeah. it's like that, that, so that what did the teacher have against you? Like he was just on he was on some bullshit, bro. Yeah. So it got to the point, bro, where I just like damn near like I, I'm kidding, but I fucked out of that class, bro, because I said I just stopped coming after that project, bro. I was like, bro, there's no point in me fucking coming here, bro, because if this is gonna be it, bro, where I gotta be fucking. Basquiat and fucking Picasso and shit. Mm -hmm. This nigga can suck my dick, bro. You knew about Basquiat back then? I did. <laughs> Slightly, though. Because I was just like some history. I didn't like really tap in. No, tap yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to make a joke. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. I thought that was a new nigga. Nah. nah. I think I came over here one day confused about who Basquiat is. See, I knew about him, bro. And I'm not going to hold you. When I started really, 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 really getting in my streetwear bag, for real, and I seen that they had a Supreme collection dropping with him... <laughs> That's what made me like research like who is he really type shit, and type I figured shit. out like how he passed away and shit. And, how did he pass away? Uh, overdose. Oh, OD. Oh, uh, what do you know? I was it heroin? I believe it was coke. It was but coke? it might have been heroin, yeah. But it was coke. Okay. But it was heroin. One or two. We should probably look that up. But, but I don't was feel like looking it up. It was hoke. He ended up fucking overdosing. And he passed away, man. It was coke root. Coke root. <clears throat> um. Maybe it was both. Maybe. But yeah, no. Nah, like I was explaining to him like everything. Uh. And he was, and yeah, bro, they passed me the fucking blunt. And, and ever since then, bro, <laughs> yeah, ever since, because it's funny shit. Before then, I had smoked before, bro, but I didn't really get high. See, I don't, under, I never understood that. First time I smoked, I didn't get high, bro. How? You didn't know, you didn't, you were doing it right? Probably wasn't, honestly. Honest to God, I probably wasn't, bro, because I was just so, That's like. That's common with first time smokers, though. Yeah, like, I was just so, Unless. like. Unless. I, I said, unless. Yeah, like, I never smoked a cigarette. I didn't know, like, how to inhale properly. Gotcha. Like, I was just, like, inhaling and then blowing it out of me. Mm. I wasn't, like, inhaling and letting it touch my lungs. See, I was just told to breathe twice. Yeah, I wasn't breathing twice, bro. Was that, not breathing twice. That's how I was learning to inhale. This, like, you got to inhale it. I'm like, nigga, don't I inhale when I breathe? Yeah. Like, but smoking is different. You got you pulling it. You're not inhaling it. So you got yeah. 
Hella pulling, hella exhaling. Yeah, but somebody time. had to explain what because I've never smoked anything prior to me smoking weed. So yeah, like, see, I had smoked blacks for a little bit. Yeah, oh, you, see, you, I you had, had smoked blacks. Yeah, I smoked blacks. Way before. Cigarettes, gotcha. none of that shit. Gotcha. Yeah. None of that. Yeah, shit. Like, but I when had I started nothing. smoking weed, I wasn't smoking blunts and uh, joints and shit. I was smoking a bowl. So right. you okay. forced in hell. Oh, so yeah, yeah, I was yeah, hiding a bitch. Okay. So I've never understood. I'm like, nigga, you can get hot the first time you smoke. I was like, you got to be lying or like. Yeah. See, they had Everybody a Swisher Sweet. Right. Right. Swisher Sweet. Right or something. And I really was. I really wasted that. Your first one was a Swisher Sweet. Swisher Sweet dipped in lean. I really was bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I know they was mad at me, bro. Cause that shit they was, was like, nigga, you are yo, big man, nigga. Yo, you yeah. wasting all the weed, goddamn nigga. This shit ain't gonna. You know how much I pay for this hoe? God you damn, really? like, <laughs> this shit fifty dollars a month. They fucked up, bro. Like, Cause like where I was at, that was the house that niggas was copping from. Like that was like oh, the, that the trap. That, that was that was really the trap, bro. But like niggas, like I ain't gonna say too much. But right. who I was around mm-hmm. was in cahoots. Mm-hmm. With who was the plug? Got you. So I, I ne- like my whole year at Vincent's, bro. I never paid for weed ever, bro. Damn. Like it was like that. I, I was that plug to like tapped in type that's shit that's, without that's even knowing up. it type that's shit. That's what's up. Good. But niggas just fuck with me because of who I like, who I was, and who like. You gonna write a whole album about the plugs you met? Ooh. <laughs> I just might. My bro. connections. I just might. <laughs> you gotta switch out the title, but you can't steal it. You know? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna steal it. Of course, I'm my not. My connects. Um, the plugs I know. Ooh. The plugs. <laughs> But yeah, man. Oh shit. Me. Where do we go from here, though? My knowledge, my plug. The way to go is up. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. No. I, I just been. I just, oh wait, T Rose didn't give us his reason for smoking. If you wanted to. Oh, go ahead. oh my reason. Um, for one, to, for one to try it out. Definitely wanted to try it. Um, kind of just really happened though. Like the day that I did it. I wasn't looking forward to like, hey, I want to try weed today. Like, it was just like, oh, there's some weed. Let me hit that. I was with the homie, and this is like every day after school this shenanigans. Was I was with, <laughs> just for like all intents and purposes of the story to keep it going. Yeah. Sure. Okay. There it was. I was with Zaytoven. Yeah. We had just got out the bus. Um, this is middle school. I, no, 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 no. I'm lying. This is high school. I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. This is high school. I believe I was a sophomore. I might have been a sophomore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was 16. Um, we got the bus, threw my bags down at the crib, went out, walked to this nigga crib. He lives right around the corner, so, like, my crib is right here. His crib is, like, right here. We just walk around the corner. He dropped his shit off. Then we go across the street to the other neighborhood where everybody else is at. <laughs> and this is apparently where the niggas who got the weed is at. But we, I didn't know we was going to smoke. This nigga had been smoking. He'd been smoking since middle school. Got you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I had never smoked. Like I, we just always hooped and shit like that or whatever. He would usually smoke whenever I wasn't around. Got you. So at this point, I'm around. I'm a, I'm around more. <laughs> so we go across the way. He was like, "Yeah, you try to go hoop and shit." I'm like, yeah, fuck it. So we go to the homie crib at the time. Um, he got a basketball court in his backyard. We go back there. We hoop and some other niggas from the neighborhood pull up too. Mm-hmm. So it's maybe like five or six of us, right? Um. Everybody there is older than us. Me and me and me and Zaytoven. my homie, me and Zaytoven, we are literally the same age. Everybody is really? either. I'm just playing with it. <laughs> everybody, everybody's either one or two grades above us, so they're either uh, juniors or seniors. All right, so well, one of the niggas, he's uh, we hooping and shit. We've been having a two on two. Mind you, it's like five or six niggas. I can't remember. So there's a couple niggas on the side, but it's we having a two on two. I believe by the time uh, I got done with my game. The blunt was rolled. Mm. I didn't know that there was a blunt being rolled and shit like that. I this was after basketball. They wasn't playing. The nigga who rolled clearly wasn't playing or whatever. You was playing though. Yeah, yeah. I was out there. So you got hired through a basketball game. Mm-hmm. That's lit. Shit. That's tight as fuck. You know, I'm fatigued. That's tight. And shit. He said that's, that's tight. tight. <laughs> Negro man. That's a Negro man. So like, wait, wait. Okay. So we, you know, we back there. It's it's one side. He ain't got the full court. Yeah. It went like that. But yeah. um, done with that and shit. You know, catch a breather, drinking and shit like that. Not drink, but like water. water. Yeah, yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. vitamin sure, water, sure, all that. Sure. All of that shit. Nah, Gatorade, I mean, spring, whatever. Spring. I mean, nah, spring water. That's what I meant. My bad. Fuck. Nah, I wouldn't. We just wouldn't name dropped so many brands. <laughs> we need a check. Cut the motherfucking check, nigga. <laughs> God damn. Oh man, I niggas tripping. All right, so anyway, um, he got a shed back there too. That motherfucker empty, Holy but it's got shit. like two or three chairs in there. They so this is a common thing. Apparently, I didn't know about this though. Yeah. I get in the shed. It's a whole session set up. 
like they already it's, it's, got nigga, the ball it's posted, rolling. It's posted. Like up, you late right? type shit. Like you need to catch up type shit, nigga. Like pump like, up, mind nigga. you, it's the other nigga already in there. The nigga who had the blunt roll, he's the first. The first one in. The other nigga's already in there sitting down. Mm-hmm. And then us four, they hop off the court. Got you. We go in there. Mm-hmm. At this point, we all in there. I believe there was two, maybe three blunts. Okay. In rotation, in total. First blunt, I failed. <laughs> I did not know what I was doing. I did not know how to like. Really took. How old are you point. again? Just uh, I was sixteen. Okay, okay. I was sixteen. I didn't smoke till I was Damn. 16. See, I be feeling like a square, bro. I didn't start smoking until I was like when that shit happened with Vincent. I was nineteen years old. I was say you was at college, nigga. So yeah. I, yeah. But I've I've explained my paranoia as to why, why I didn't. Mm-hmm. Well, I, go ahead, finish your story. I'll tell you about the story where I did. <laughs> I was still like not doing shit, and my dad could have swore me down that I was smoking weed in high school. I remember. <laughs> I, I, I told you this. Yeah. Yeah. I've said it on here? Yeah. Okay, never mind then. Go ahead. <laughs> never mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> to this day, do you think that? That you were, still, that you were smoking in high school since yeah. you do smoke now? I told him straight up at JJ's second birthday party that, like, yeah, I smoke weed. Yeah. I, like, 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 I didn't give a fuck at that point. I know, but, like, now, but and does he think that you've been smoking since he thought you were smoking? Yeah. Like, he, that that's just a good question. More, you never talked about more, it. Uh, I can call him and ask him. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you still think I was smoking weed in high school? Like, but go ahead and read your story and I'm going to call him and see if he picks up and then right. we'll go from there. Go Text him, let him know. You're about to call him. Okay, go ahead. But, <laughs> but yeah, pretty much we got in the session. Like, the first blunt, I know I fucked up. I wasn't really, like, inhaling it. Like, I seen everybody else doing it, mm-hmm. at least. Because I was like, I see clouds. Like, niggas is doing a little ghost and shit. Oh, I'm not saying this one smoke tricks was a thing. Yeah, go ahead. Niggas go is ahead. doing the ghost and shit. I'm seeing niggas blow out. Like, I'm like... Why? Why would it get to me? That shit don't happen. Like, what the fuck is? Going on? <laughs> Mind you, I had respiratory issues, so I really shouldn't have been doing this shit in the first fucking place. And Jalen Hayes would have used that term. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. And again, <laughs> he's the worst thing ever. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So, oh, yeah. No, no, nigga. What? <laughs> no, nigga. No, we not just let that slide. Nigga, I can't say a word. <laughs> you know, he needed that juicy how on that. That's what he needed. Mm, 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 I just don't. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, that was pretty much it. Pretty much, nigga. Like, yeah. First blood I fell after that one, I, I started getting it down packed. Yeah, when I yeah. left, I definitely was like... But, so this is what being hot feels like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What'd you eat? Oh, no. You know your first so, hot meal? My home. Okay. I'm it in from, this. It goes from the snacks, and then it goes to a meal. All right, what you eat? What's so, the, so uh, let's see. Mind you, this, this, the homie that I was with, Zaytoven, his grip, nigga, I always had the snacks. So I crashed <laughs> the cinnamon rolls, crashed the uh, Pop-Tarts, uh... If that nigga had leftover food, like homemade food, his mama would cook or whatever, we would smash that. Uh, in this you case, you know. I was trying to get diabetes first time he smoked. Bro, nigga, I was hungry as fuck. That shit was great, nigga. <laughs> what was your first hot meal? Damn, you oh, was in college. It was probably some bullshit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, O'Reilly's <laughs> chicken box. A well, chicken honey box. <laughs> Well, honey mustard with the fries, hello fries right, the and shit. Box, like yeah, the $2 yeah, box like the boy. The but it's Sprite. But Sprite with light ice, nigga. It went crazy, nigga. Probably needs to be the spot. Honey mustard. Man. Especially Vincennes, bro. Niggas, we, hey, we walked over there, bro. Oh, right. It was like a thing? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Damn, yeah, man, man. Shit, high school. I can't wait till Houston, bro. This is about to be a fucking reunion, bro. I'm a, hey, if y'all see me on social media going crazy in May, I'm like, just gonna be like, this is a, just uh, Jalen's wild, and I'm gonna click through yeah, it. Just, yeah, just just like, hey, Jalen wild right now. I'm not believe entertaining this shit. Just click through it. Don't, don't. I did that on a double day. Don't even worry about it. I don't think I can ever forget my first hot meal. Like that's yeah. What did so you good, have? Bro. What was it? Hot dog and cereal. No, I had a nice ass plate of chicken and noodles with the oh with the God. with the with the Mary calendar rolls that you throw in the oven. Fire. What's the drink? In the foil. Oh, probably orange juice. Oh my! Wait, in the oil, in the foil, the bread, the the rolls. Okay. And my mama put the butter on it and throw it in the oven. And she didn't know you was a. Woo! <laughs> 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 I can't hold to this grid, nigga. I'm telling you, it's about four thirty p.m. when I get home. It's a Sunday, nigga. I slept to the next day after I ate. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never ate dinner, showered, and been in bed before seven in middle school except for that day. That nigga, I'm going to say, yeah. Oh, (laughs) I'm going to bed after that, nigga. What was the next day, man? Feeling rejuvenated, then. I remember niggas at school was mad at me. They was like, damn, Malcolm, you smoke weed? I was like, what do you want from me? (laughs) Hey, I was that friend. Like, oh, mate, you smoke weed now? 
<laughs> what are you gonna do with your life, man? Oh my God. We lose yeah. your fucking future. There's no way that question was the follow up. Yeah, bro. That was the oh, follow up, or that was this energy hey, you had. No, no, fam. That was the energy I had. Okay, all right. That was both. energy. No, that was energy. that was energy. That was energy. I never said that blatantly, okay. but I do recall, bro, senior year. I'm gonna ask. Uh, Kev, shout out to Cap. Had a roach. He wanted to smoke a roach in my car, and he asked me, "Hey, can I smoke this roach in your car?" I know this story. I know this. Story. And I said, "No, you can't throw it out." And he threw it out, bro. But I know he was shitty at me because it's like. Nigga, what? <laughs> hey, he gonna call you when he see this. Be like, nigga, you owe me a roach. <laughs> <laughs> so when you smoke your last joint, pass it this way. <laughs> bro, yeah. I do I, I, I don't have a roach. I do. Okay? I don't want a roach. Because it's... Bro, fam, I was so... Up, I'm like, fam, I wish I could just like... No. See what type of nigga I was, bro. I wish you, I knew you and didn't just know how you did. Cause that shit. <laughs> I'm like, hey, who is this nigga? Who you did this all the way up to you was to that pretty much that art. Like, I was cool as fuck, bro. But it, when it comes to like the extracurricular shit, it was like, no, bro. I'm not smoking no weed. I'm not drinking shit, nigga. Curricular. Like I gotta go home to my dad, bro. Like, and, that, and, I, and I can tell this story to where. Well, so you had a. Fi- it was more so. Bro, fear. I was at a kickback, bro. Hell, niggas, hell, niggas was smoking weed, bro. It's past me the blunt. I'm like, no. I go home, bro. I guess I smell like it because I didn't have the fucking worth all to think like, oh, shit, I'm going to smell like weed. I just thought that so I didn't gonna smoke assume it. I'm smoking. Yeah, yeah. I, I just thought because, excuse me, I just thought cause just because I wasn't smoking that like. It was going to be good. Yeah, because I was my normal self. And, and I wasn't really, I had never been high before. So like, I was like, damn, like, can I drive on this? You know what I'm saying? So I was just hella paranoid, shit, bro. So I got home, bro, and I guess he smelled the weed on me. And got to like sniffing my breath and shit. Sniffing your breath. Wow. I, I didn't tell you this shit. You did, but like I don't. What, what I don't you, think you know, he was it, bro. And, like sniffing my like told me to breathe, bro. You should just had him look at your tongue. If it wasn't white, you want to smoke him. Let's see some water, I, bro. I did not know. I know. Yeah, I know. I wasn't. I didn't know. He should have known that. He should know that. I didn't know shit, bro. Did he say he smelled fingertips. That's what he, they. That's what they usually do. He just smelled all around me, type shit, bro. I remember. No, fact. Go ahead, fucking, go ahead. Fucking with Austin. Go ahead. Fucking oh with Austin. God. Bro, it's always Austin. I oh swear to God. Gosh. Fucking with Austin. <laughs> like, bro, I, niggas had me in the Seacoast office like this, smelling my fingertips. Damn, hey, Kiko. <laughs> like this, smelling my fingertips. I'm like, nigga, what are you doing? Quit sniffing me. Like, what the fuck? Damn. That's tragic <laughs> as fuck. You saw that story before. So I, that's what it, I know, but like, nigga, why does, why'd you have me do this to smell my fingertips? Like, why is my hands together like the so prayer emoji? Like, no, Rook, um, so that goes, you never had the instillment of we being this, being that for you or whatever. Like, and if you do try it, like, it's going to be consequences, whatever. You never really had that. What you mean? From your parents, at least. What you mean? Like, like explain. Like how his dad was pretty much on that, like like how he pretty much had the fear of being caught with weed aroma, with weed on him, coming home high, gotcha. anything of that nature. Okay, so... And I had the same thing with my mom, so I was trying to... Oh, well, see, my dad smoked cigarettes my entire life, mm-hmm. and I completely despise cigarettes. Y'all know how I feel about cigarettes. I'm That's with you. never changed, and I've always been vocal about it. Right. So I'm my parents you. just never assumed I was going to smoke anything because I hated cigarettes. Mm. So that was never a worry in their head. Got you. They thought I was never going to smoke nothing. Got you. Because okay. I hated cigarettes so bad. Well, I mean, I have the same hate for cigarettes, but yeah. my, granddad, my granddad died from that shit. Oh, never, like, that was never... I was Sorry actually talking it. about this. Yeah, that shit is disgusting. What, what did that scene child say? Trifling, good, nothing type of brother. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, that's what he said. He's talking about child. Can you pay my bills? Pay my automobile? You never heard a song? I don't, I don't know Destiny Child like that. All, all the lovely women that are listening know what song I'm talking about. So I'll just leave it there. It's you know, you know what song I'm talking about. Knows what it's about, and you vegan to put me on. There you go. Or I could just send it to you on Apple Music. <sighs> this nigga gay. Y'all heard me. What I'm about to say, come on. Pause. I'm not. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Relax. That was funny. <laughs> Cause I didn't like to slip in there. <laughs> I heard it, but like I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it until it was too late. It was like an echo. He said, "Wait, cause like, no, it's hold on." <laughs> bro, I'm lit, bro. I drink this that's whole funny, thing. but no, that's what I meant. Like it was just instilled as far as fear for both of us. So I was just trying to see if the 
So, oh, like bro, you said, the mean, fear shit was crazy, bro. Yeah, like it was a stomach like, fear. Like bro, if you come like, home high, like I've been nigga. threatened to be kicked out. I've been all Not that even, shit, bro. I, I didn't know it was going, bro. Nigga, yeah, I, I told you what happened when he figured out I was watching porn and beat my dick and found a fucking key magazines. I mean, nigga, I told nigga, you what you happened think, when I had a MySpace profile for a week, bro. Yeah, so like, nigga, you doing this? You punch me in my chest and you see me beat my. Not see me my shit, but you you figure out that like I'm you put like, two and two together. Yeah, like, you figure out like you you see my ex- extensive uh, that's wild. Uh, porn search. That's kind of wild. And cave my chest in. You gonna go crazy when you figure out that I'm hitting the loud pack. Yeah, yeah. And see, I think she also had a fear because my my dad's side of the family are nothing but like well, I ain't gonna say nothing but but a majority of them. And like they about that they are. Yeah, yeah. Say to speak, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. she just didn't want another one. Yeah. Basically. See, I never, I never accepted the projection of somebody else does this, so this is gonna end up like you. And that's what I was trying to get through to her. I've never accepted that. So it was like, and I, but I was a person who would like, I was the type of kid who would be vocal about it and be like, mm-hmm. like, no, nah, like, what are you talking about? You think about? that that's real though? What? Because I think that that. All right. I don't want to keep on making this about me. Like but. about weed being a gateway drug? No, 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 no. <laughs> About the whole, like, uh, I guess more so, like, influence type shit as to, like, how, like, I don't want, like, with him, like, the whole thing about his mom not wanting him to smoke and feeling like, excuse me, it's a... Uh, it's going to enter him into another world. No, yeah. not even that. It's a, That's uh, a sense. It's yeah. a result yeah. of how his dad's side of family acts type shit. So that's why he's doing it. That's why, like, his mom, like, see, like, because with me, bro, like, I kind of see it in certain shit that I do, bro, that, like, I take shit from my mom and my dad, bro. Yeah. And a lot of it is not good. Like, a lot of it, bro. I mean, it'd be like that. But it's like, okay, so okay, so that's, that's that was my question, basically. Like, do you feel like that that is, I guess, like, normal? I mean, that's coming from your parents, yeah, because you are literally... Fifty percent of both of them, literally. Like, there's no escaping that. Yes, yeah. you're gonna take things from them. Yeah. And you've literally been raised by them, like you've been programmed by them. Yeah. So the things that are programmed into you are coming literally directly from them. Yeah. So yeah, you're gonna get shit from them. Okay. Okay. But as far as it, I don't think nothing. None of that is a uh, is a guarantee for the outcome. Yeah. Or like the or the uh, entire equation of the outcome either. Okay, okay. I think those are variables. Got you. I think she just didn't want me riding that fine line. And uh, more so to be yeah. on the safety net. On and, the then safety also, line, like, and then also, we got to remember, our parents are older. So it's like, and weed is an illegal thing, which brings the police, which brings systematic racism and all that type of shit. Yes. So all that goes into yes. them not wanting us to smoke yeah, weed. They and they like worried about too. our I'm about to say, don't get me wrong, yes. I yeah. understand But that. the one thing I've never understood is once you know we smoke weed, why not give us a sanctuary to where we don't have to deal with that? And, that and that's my, my that, biggest I'm thing. I'm not going to hold you. I've been granted that at my mom's crib. Like my mama clearance, as an adult, right? But you, facts. but that oh, never facts. would have been a thing. Like if you oh, were a child. Oh, dog, high school. <sighs> yeah, no. That's and what that's I'm, what I'm saying because, <laughs> like, because like my parents knew we smoked weed, and they would always be like crying stop. and like complaining about like stop. about like what would happen and shit. And I'm just like, so you know, I smoke weed. You know, I'm not going to stop doing this. So why not? Make sure I'm safe if you're so worried about me not being safe. And if that's not the problem, then what is the real problem? Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. That would be my whole thing. Because my dad, my dad was like, I remember when I, when I started getting cars and shit. He was like, don't smoke weed in cars. This and that, and that. I'm like, well, I can't smoke in my room, so where do you want me to smoke? You want me to just smoke outside? You want me to just like walk down the street where anybody can fucking like see anything? And my dad had no answer for me. I'm like, all right. So T, you have an answer for me, like. Don't really say nothing to me about this. I'm with you. I'm with you. And also, her biggest thing was like, she just didn't want me to smoke it. She didn't like the smell of it. And she also, I have a little sister as well. I can't stop. That little nigga was smoking before I, my mama knew she was smoking. I knew, but it was like, she was smoking before me. But like, well, not before, but like before it was public knowledge type shit. She was smoking before you knew she was smoking. Yeah. But did she know that you were smoking? Taylor? Yes. When she started smoking, did she know you were smoking? Uh, I think I'm not sure. I'm frankly not sure. Okay. Honestly, that's a good question. I don't know. Gotcha. But I know the first time that we did, I felt I knew because right away she was smoking. Like I told you my story and I was mm-hmm. fucking up. That thing was like, like on it. So. <laughs> She's a fast learner. Fast learner my ass. <laughs> 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 I 
nigga, that nigga, was, that nigga was on it. She, she got it. Shout out Taylor. <laughs> Definitely. No, she was on it. I was like... No, no, Taylor funny as fuck. I fuck with her. That nigga's a clown. Bro, she, <laughs> she's funny, bro. She is. They used to, I'm about to say, some of the homies used to call her a little. She's like, nigga, she look and act just like you did. And I was like, no, she don't. Da- time out, Taylor. Tyler. Yeah, her name comes from mine. That's why she spells it with an E. She, this used to be the biggest problem. That's wild. Yeah, my mom, that's why, 3T. 3T Rose. Your mom, you did your mom now? name? What? Both of y'all or was the yeah. father? Yeah. Really? Yeah. My name comes See, your mom from, was like on some deep shit. Like, so I'm not, okay, so the origin. I gotta, bro, I'm not gonna hold you. I gotta meet your mom, bro. I feel like me and your mom were like really like. Y'all, bur- y'all born the same day, yeah, Jalen. Right. <laughs> like, that, that, that's dumb. Oh, I remember this is 26 too? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. no, stay, no, stay. Hey. You got a friend in me. Hey, hey film. Yes, yes. Cause that, bro. Cause like that's some hard, like overthinking, deep shit. That like, yeah. So like, <laughs> like I she get got it. My- <laughs> I get it, bro. The three T rows, the three O's are all a representation of my mom, me, and my sister. Three T. Like, See, y'all learn this. Don't is give the sauce, T. Rose. I mean, content for real. Uh, I just gave him the candy. It's really some fucking Patreon content, but like niggas is like. Give him the sauce. Sprinkle <laughs> me like E40. I seen a funny uh, this Instagram. This is the major way. I mean, I seen a funny <laughs> Instagram meme that said. Oh, I see that. Man. Wait, what? what is that? Imagine. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It was like if you're having a bad day. Just imagine E40 saying to Mario Stoudemire. Oh, boy, Stoudemire. <laughs> Mario Stoudemire. Call Casey. Call Casey. Mario Stoudemire. Wait, 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 wait. A Mario Stoudemire. Oh, shit. Nigga said oh, Mario Stoudemire. Run your case yeah. Man. Look at my get true, and I got a Mario Stoudemire right on the film. Yeah. We got to see if this nigga seen this meme, bro. That shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to drop my phone. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that here in a minute, but like yeah, I'm drunk. I don't know if niggas can tell or not, but I'm pretty lit. Can't see him fucking with us. He's not. He's he busy. He busy. He busy. You feeling busy like P. Diddy right yeah, now? Yeah, Last nigga, I checked. He is on Diddy time. You got a schedule yeah. to call him now. Right. You got he got niggas Damn. getting him the finest of the Cambodian breast milk right now. Let's see. Damn, he ain't gonna answer. <laughs> I want to hear this imperson- imper- imper- impersonation. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck! It's an impression. Impersonation is illegal. Ooh. It's an impression, not yeah. impersonation? Yeah. What's impersonation mean? It's impersonation. illegal. That means you acting like you are them. Yeah. Oh, that's like, like, like forgery, nigga. Like identity, yeah. like, like yeah. scamming. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's okay. like forgery, yeah. okay. nigga. You can't do that. <laughs> it's an impression. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Y'all niggas stupid. My origin of my name came from a girl that my mom used to like, she worked at, worked at a daycare. And there used to be a little girl that named Tyler. And she liked the name? And she liked the name so much. She's I'm going to name this nigga Tyler. <laughs> She's like, hmm, it works for both boys and girls, I guess. I'm going to call you I'm going to call you Mope. <laughs> <laughs> Your little name is Mope. <laughs> All right, y'all. What we got? What's we got to talk about? What y'all want to get into? All right, I'm, I'm sad. I'm about to say, what you want to do? The One Piece on break this week, man. Y'all seen that? What's that about? The manga on break so and, and a, the uh, anime on break. Um, what? Let, let them talk yeah, about it. yeah. Whenever they drop a bomb, whenever Oda drop a bomb, he be like, "Ooh, y'all play with that for a minute. I'll be back later." Literally, like he, he, he loves the, with us. He, fucks, he fucks with the fans like that. He fuck with our That's emotions, his whole thing. Nigga. That's his whole thing. That's fucked up, bro. But it'd be worth it when it's a comeback. Like, because, in a, it's a spoiler alert. Let y'all know when it's coming alert. back. Or yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it'll, it'll be back, back next week. week. He's took a this week's a week break. Yeah. It's a week break, but sometimes that nigga will so take two. So one week drops every week, right? Yeah. Like once yes. a week. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So like a TV show, like regular, like a I mean, yep. it is a TV show. The manga is money. on a schedule yeah. for every the week. The show yeah. and the book drop every week. Every week. Okay. Yep. And the book is ahead of the show, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Because mm-hmm. like, look, in the last chapter, this is a spoiler alert, he spoiler. seemingly brought a nigga back from the dead who'd been dead for 20 years and went on break. And like, niggas is like, what? We saw this nigga die. Or yeah, did bro. we? And in the last episode of the manga, the two strongest niggas just started fighting. Oh, yes, I mean, the anime. It's a rap. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead, though. Go ahead. The two ahead, strongest niggas. We yeah, just, just started seen, fighting. We just seen the king fight. Week break. <laughs> I was like, man, fuck, man. But that shit finna be lit when it come back. You see the uh, episode list? The episode for the next. For, when it's no, no. The next three episodes are about Roger. Bet. So it's gonna be it's lit. lit. <laughs> that, and I know you, they're gonna expand on it, so it's gonna be hard. Yeah, I'm about to say they're gonna bring some shit in from the. Uh, that's not the manga. If that's you're gonna vegan be and you watch One Piece, you know what I'm saying? My DMs is open. <laughs> <laughs> a vegan One Piece fan. That's oof, that's, that's a hot, that's a hot commodity. 
<laughs> he said, hey. Y'all heard him, right? That's me. <laughs> That's a hot commodity. It could be us. <laughs> this could be us, but you playing. Is that a song now? <laughs> Been a song. Ray Shrummer. Shr- That's what it means. I have not song. watched Coming to America 2 yet, bro. You uh, haven't seen it? No. Oh. Well, I mean, you're not. I, I I wanted to watch it last night, but I like I felt like I was sleeping in a bitch. The funniest lit. part of it is that uh, Nas and Wesley Snipes are twin brothers in the movie. Nas is in the movie. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I get excited? I know. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been in the trailer. Africa. Africa. That's where he went. Wow. That's what we established. Wow. I'm That's... telling you, bro. Like it was either Zabuja or Wakanda. There's no in between. That nigga not in Ghana. He not in Egypt. He not in South Africa. It's either Zabuja or Wakanda. I can't believe it. Africa. <laughs> Zabuja is on so, the east side. So beautiful. So of Africa. <laughs> and Wakanda. Why did they let him get that off? Why did they not? Why did they not let him like make like say a specific country in Africa? Why did they just let him say Africa? Because the motherland. And think about it. That was remember we talked about that. It's, that was just a long music video, and we know how music videos was back then from the where I'm from video. That they movie is ass. Sense. They didn't make sense. That movie but. is ass, bro. And like it, it hurts me because I love Belly, bro. But it's like when What's you really great? break it down and watch it, like especially nowadays, bro. It's like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> bro, me and like they, bro, like little hype, <laughs> little, little X is going crazy, bro. I said little hype, little X is going crazy. That's the name, right? Hype Williams, legs, same nigga. No. Director X and Hype Williams are two different niggas. Bro. For real? Yeah. And I was like, what? I'm so who think. directed Lil who who directed uh Belly? Lil X or It was Hype. Yeah. It was Hype Williams? Yes. I'm tripping. I thought it was yeah, the same bro. Oh. I'm about to say you gotta get them niggas. Hold on. You bro. act like me. You gotta get them niggas, niggas they spot. Yeah, bro, I'm, I'm tripping. You gotta get them niggas so, they spot. Damn, so okay, let me ask this. Do they have the same fucking directing style? Mm, is that right. where I'm getting fucking No. They don't. No. So why am I fuck so why am I They both light skin. Is that what it is? Probably. Is that what I'm putting? They both have light skin and they are very huge are in the hip hop community. Niggas? I don't know about I can't recall. I know High Williams is pretty short. I mean, I can't recall about short. Or Lil X is really and short. And I know I can see Director X's face more than I can see Hype's. Because I haven't seen Hype as much as I've seen Director X. Glasses. He's looking him up right now. Why did I think X? it was the same nigga? Because they light skin. All I got is I'll, they light skin. That's all I got for you, bro. That's <laughs> all I got. And you probably put it together with the nigga that you was fighting at Carson Party. So you just like <laughs> couldn't deal with it. <laughs> Hella, um, hella, in a mile. That nigga's name is Harold. Wait, huh? You don't say my name, homie. Oh, my <laughs> you must be talking about hype. <laughs> Wait, this nigga directed Speed Racer? Are you kidding me? Hey, them niggas got some shit under their <laughs> belt. Little X or Hype Williams? Hype Williams. You're the Speed Racer? Wait, let me read this. Are you talking about the right one? <laughs> he was hired to direct the Warner Bros. Film. Oh, he left the project the following year. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, that wasn't a Hype Wings production. He was supposed to direct it. Mm. You seen the Speed Racer movie that came out of the late? I did mm. see it. I didn't like it. No. I was shitty. <laughs> I don't know Speed Racer's story for real, for real, so that's what I know about him. For real? Oh, look. He left because Racer X was too close to Director X and you was getting them confused, so we had to distance himself. Ooh, makes sense. Mm-hmm. He had to have, make his I own way. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. But. Nonetheless. How you ain't seen Coming to America yet? Coming to America. I was bullshitting, so- bro. Yeah. So y'all right. to Taylor. Not even bullshit. I just I ain't had the time to, bro. Like, for real, for real, to, like, really pay attention and come back, you know what I'm saying, with some, with a good, uh. Synopsis. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I, yeah, bro. Like, I'll probably, I'll try to watch it tonight, for real. All mm-hmm. right, well, let's break down the wash then, because you've seen that, right? <laughs> Hey, this is the kid. Let me call you right back. <laughs> it's a motherfucking kidnapper. Shout out to DJ Pooh. <laughs> DJ Pooh don't get enough credit. Please yeah. come on the podcast. I've been too busy trying to work with you. Pooh. Like, DJ Pooh. Yeah, DJ Pooh, that would be funny. Please come to Atlanta. We'll, we'll smoke you out, too. Yes. I'll, I'll make sure I'll make sure I have Poo. some good weed. Listen, that, uh, I will smoke with I'll DJ Pooh. Yeah, I'll make sure I have some good <laughs> weed that podcast, real. Like, no. I, like you going to be higher than a bitch. And I don't, need, I don't need you to be like, Top shelf only. Yeah, I don't need you to be like, no, no, that was different when we caught. No, we don't need that. Come to the pod. Please. Fuck UPS too. They got you fucked they up. They definitely got you fucked they, up. They, excuse me, they had you for had you and Craig fucked up. You know what? Actually, I guess I'll get you a new chain. And Friday's not a bad movie. I don't know what Malcolm's talking about. <laughs> Friday is a bad movie. But you've gotten way better. <laughs> but you got way <laughs> Oh God. I'll get you a new chain and everything. Just this pull the up. Kidnappers. This is the kidnappers. This the kidnappers. His girl got in that chain, it ain't gonna mean the same, nigga. He said. Nigga, you say about this? It's the lady from the sisters, bro. Jalen, it's all right. <laughs> bro, let's talk about how iconic that movie is, though. Like, nigga, you got Cheech, 
I mean, you got uh, Tommy Chong. He got fired for for a nigga stealing a pair. Of, Snoop Dogg stealed a pair of Dada's, and Dre got fired. If I get, I forget if I get fired for a nigga stealing a pair of Dada's. <laughs> Smeedy. I finally got something for the skinny nigga. This nigga stole a pair of Dada's, bro. Like what? <laughs> Dada. Hey, I always want a new Dada. That nigga said he fired Chris. <laughs> what? <laughs> he fired Chris, nigga. He took about Chris. Hey. Mr. That Washington. Movie, yeah, bro, that movie iconic. If you ain't seen the watch in a minute, please go watch you got that. Some time, please. Just go watch hey, the watch. You know what's funny? So my mom made some chili with some beans in it last week. Ooh, was it fire? No, I didn't eat that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like chili? I don't like chili. I don't like beans, nigga. <laughs> Fuck. I said no. I so didn't I, eat I told that her, shit. I said, I said, <laughs> I said, you about, eat Yes, for sure. I was like, yeah. I was talking to my, leave my little nigga alone there. I was talking to my Leave my little nigga alone there. Nah, hold on. Listen, 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 listen. I heard you say eat your carrots, nigga. You ought to eat your carrots. I do eat carrots because I want to be healthy, nigga. I want a fucking kidney stone. Now, see, I understand that type of shit, nigga. I'm getting older. So it's like, nigga, I don't want... I want to try to take a piss, nigga, and it's a fucking sugar stone pop out my dick and I'm fucking screaming, crying to God. Like, I should have not been a fucking fat fucker not eating healthy and shit. So, yeah, nigga, I'm eating my carrots, me and my bananas, all that shit, nigga. Fuck out of here. But anyway... <laughs> My mom, my mom made some chili with some bees in it. And like I was joking with my stepdad because my stepdad's from the West Coast. Got you. So uh, I was joking with Clarence. He Mexican? You know Clarence is not Mexican. (laughs) Stop. Stop, bro. Don't don't do him like that. You said he from the West Coast. I was talking to Clarence, bro. He's from Oakland. Oh, no, 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 no. He's not from Oakland. I'm tripping. So that was a valid question. He's not, he's not from Oakland. He's not from Oakland. For the sake of the story, he could be from Oakland. Okay, yeah, fuck Bet. it. Fuck it. Yeah, for a second, because I don't want to put his business out there. Yeah, but he's Bet. not, I know he's not from Oakland for real, for real. But he for the sake of the story, nigga. he's from Oakland. Bet. Anyway, but he, he's a West Coast nigga, though. Fuck it. Sprinkle. Uh, cool. So I was talking, I was talking to him, and I was like, yo, like, Clarence, she's seen the watch, right? And he got a laugh, and he's like, yeah. And I was like, she's going to be like Dr. Dre after, after he left that taco truck eating that, <laughs> eating, eating, eating that chili and shit, nigga. Mm. And he just started, he got the buzz and I laughed. My mom was out the loop because she ain't seen the watch. Uh, <laughs> and I, just, I, the I, said, I said, mom, you have, talking about you have not seen the watch? She's like, what is that? I said, it's a movie with Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. They, It's a remake of the joint that came out with fucking Richard Pryor. But I ain't never seen the original. You ain't seen the Richard Pryor joint? No, I need you to watch now. it. It's funny. I do. I, do. Watch I, do. It. I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah, for well, sure. So, for some reason, I think DJ Poos is funnier. <laughs> you might be able to relate to it more because it came out like in the 70s or 80s or whatever. <clears throat> but mm, mm, mm. I'm going to keep it a buck, bro. I enjoy the DJ Poo version better, better bro, because it's just like I like I remember when the Dreamcast was out type shit. So it's like I... You can relate. I can I can see myself being 20 and being... In these... Kind in of, that moment yeah, type yeah, shit, bro. Versus like. the 70s. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Um, that is funny. But yeah, bro, I got, yeah. That, that, that made me laugh. Um, what else Wait, we got hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. We doing all this for 50 cents? <laughs> <laughs> for two? That's what we doing this for? Two motherfucking quarters? <laughs> 50,000, fool. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a kidnapper's game. It's a kidnapper's game. He said, hey, hang up. Hang up. And he's you robbing he a said, nigga. They probably realize they call with the call ID. You try to rob a nigga and your and your your accomplice is telling you to hang up. Like <laughs> y'all going to jail, bro. Both y'all going to jail. Y'all bro. niggas got a first, first one way ticket to jail, bro. nigga. There's nothing to talk about. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, watch. if you ain't seen the watch, please watch it. Please watch it. Yeah, this is a DJ Pool Appreciation episode. Facts. Um, we can leave it at that. I do want to say. <laughs> I do want to say. Uh, Rest in peace to Brianna Taylor. This is the uh, mm-hmm. one year anniversary, or this podcast is dropping past the one year anniversary mm-hmm. of uh, her being murdered by the cops of Louisiana, uh, excuse me, Louisville. Louisville. Uh, but there is a bright side to that one and year. And uh, all charges that were posted against her boyfriend have been dropped now. As they should. So, yeah, we yeah, get bombers applause that too, for sure. Shout out to you, King. Um, yeah, niggas should never have no charges. I'm glad he made it out that jail. Never, for sure. For well, sure. Um, that shit's still is fucking crazy, bro. Yeah. Like, and imagine, like, some niggas coming to your crib, smoking your shorty, and then locking you, you up, sleep? and you dealing with charges for a year. She was asleep, bro. Like, like she got killed on some friend hip and shit, bro. Like. Yeah. Ah. Fuck. Damn, I'm drunk, bro. I'm trying not to even get emotional about this shit. That shit is really fucked up. 
You um, wanna you if you want don't want to get emotional, can I can I say a joke or the two songs? Go ahead, go ahead, bro. I hope there was a new Jay Z being born at the same time. That funny too soon. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was just more so too soon. I'm than, sorry. I asked yeah. was it too soon. <laughs> he did ask. I thought you meant like I didn't see. I thought you were meaning like as far as me, not as far as like the situation. No, no. If that makes sense. I didn't see nothing wrong with that. I mean, shit, Jay Z. It was born, funny. Right? It was funny, but it was like too damn, bro. Like yeah, kind of. I'll wait a few years. Yeah, yeah. Wait a few years. I'm sorry. It's all good, bro. That is fucked up, though. It is. It's all good. What's Soulja Boy GTA freestyle. Oh my god, did you see it? I bro, how did I miss this? <laughs> bro, yeah. oh, I, I gotta, I gotta pull it up. Oh, I, uh, I put the thing in the thing. Oh. I guess you did. With the motherfucking sub, shout out drought with the sub, nigga. Hold on, nigga. Hold on, Kelly, Nick, Kelly, Bruce, nigga. I don't shoot it, 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 this character on GTA is at the studio. What? Hey, I gotta say, I gotta say, niggas don't give Soldier Boy his respect, bro. As okay, so like when the whole Randy Orton shit was going on, and niggas was like flaming him and shit. When he dropped the game console, like Nintendo ain't dropped the Supreme mixtape for the if, or or, the or, 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 or Soldier got the juice. Randy Orton ain't dropped the Supreme mixtape or Soldier got the juice, bro. Or a juice mixtape. Or is in with that lean. St- I'm sorry, bro. Niggas going to laugh at it and say that it's Soulja Boy, but it's like, bro, like, nigga, I was riding around blasting that shit, bro. Bro, Soulja Boy is, uh, he's hella innovative. He's a fucking trailblazer from hella shit. Yeah. But yeah. it's like, it's, it's funny to laugh at him type shit, but it's yeah. like, when you really break shit down, bro, the, he's that nigga, bro. He's a trailblazer. Like, I, like, I fuck shit, with Soulja Boy, bro. Like I like I would love to interview interview Soldier Boy, bro. Like I, I have a lot of questions for Soldier Boy. I'm just sick that he's mentally disturbed. Is he? Like as far as nigga from from we've literally been watching this nigga since he was a teenager. Mm-hmm. Pop pretty much overnight, and all the shit he's talked about as far as his family and shit and how oh, okay, all that. Okay, like, okay. He's just like mentally, in that aspect. Yes, I like yeah. I like I, I. Only thing I can do is just say like. Prayers up And like I hope That shit does get sorted that's out that, That's that sounds like yeah. yeah That family shit is tricky bro What's going on with his family? They, like, they be in his pockets And not fucking and not, so I don't like, think he has The best of relations with His family like, Yeah Got Type you. shit And that's probably something to do with it I don't 100% remember But in all my respect For the innovation that Soulja Boy has done he, uh, I will largely credit him With cheapening the art Yeah. In a sense, yeah. He's a part of that era, bro. He's a part of that era. I ain't yeah, he was one of the him. pioneers of it. Soulja Boy is the him. pioneer gonna... of bullshitting when it comes to stuff like that. You know what? You're right. Because he spiraled with the whole crank that phase. And the dances. whole clickbait uh, clout chasing. That's yeah. Soulja Boy started that. Yeah, the whole dances with the, the song shit. Even though... There's even though, nothing wrong with that. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. The even the though... Shit. Niggas in the eighties, the late eighties was dancing That's why I with their raps. With it. But it's like, no, 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 no. But it's like he made it like a thing thing. They was just dancing, bro. It's like he had dances for the song, if that makes sense. Yes. Like, the think song about it, was like, telling you how to dance. Yeah, yeah. like Big Daddy Kane was just dancing in his no, I'm raps. with you. I'm with you. Soldier Boy had to crank that Soldier Boy. <laughs> Superman now. I'm with you. It's a, you know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 a it's a little bit of difference, but it's like I don't know, bro. Like, I be feeling away when it's like niggas be trying to like judge, like old niggas be trying to like judge like the younger niggas, cause it's like, you nigga, you was on that too, too kind of. You was, y'all was, you was kind of on that too, nigga. Uh, like, Soldier Boy just kind of like one up you a little bit. I'm gonna say, like, you can't get mad for the nigga. But he did color, water it down, though. Color. He did water it down. He did. He did. He did. Yeah. But I respect that nigga, bro. I'm sorry. You, I don't give yeah, him respect. Bro, like, yeah. fam, like, nah, bro, like, give him respect for sure. Soldier Boy is a legend to me, bro. Definitely a legend. He, yeah, <laughs> Soldier Boy is a legend to but me. But I bro. will repeat this though: it's very, very, extremely easy to be a legend. It's extremely easy to just Google really? definition. Yes, Google it's definition. Yes, Google. no, no, not yet, not yet. Okay, 
Not yet. I'm glad you said I'm that. Now, that, that right gives now. me a little bit of fire. To yeah. Like, yeah. But it's easy to be a legend. All you have to do is be widely known in a specific area of work. That is all the legend is. We're on our way. Yes, definitely. Because I've seen this picture of uh, Tupac, Big, Pop Smoke, X, Nip, Mac, and like... Uh, was it X? I already said X. Oh. And somebody else. I, I believe it was somebody else. Juice World. That's what it was. Yep. Juice World made made really good music, pop. No, 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 wait, no, no, like wait. And then and then the caption was, "How many legends do you see here?" And somebody had shared it on Facebook. It was like zero. And I was like, "You can say you don't like them, but to say they're not legends is just a blatant lie. You obviously don't know what a legend is." <laughs> Niggas go with their connotation of a word and put it over the real meaning the of a word. Definition of a word. Let's say this real quick then, because I don't want to sound contradicting, because people can. Kind of play with this, what I'm about to say. So when Biggie passed away, how many albums did he have out? Two. Two. Okay. When Pop Smoke passed away, how many albums did he have out? Zero. If I'm if I'm right, zero. Yeah, he I died, don't know he nothing about his albums. Actually, Biggie only had one. Damn, he didn't so see that, the second so that, album. So that, so that, oh yeah, so you're that, right. So that so that, so that me the woo was a mixtape, not an album. Yeah. Fuck. He he only had one album. Bro, no. We got bro. We got to change that shit at some day, bro. Change oh. what? Cause Meet the Woo is composed as an album, and it's not really a mixtape. It came out when he wasn't hot, 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 but then it blew up. But niggas already called it a mixtape, so it was like he stuck with it. But it's not about him. It's about who puts it out. What they call it. It's not about what nobody else calls it. If you put it out as a mixtape, it's a mixtape. It's a mixtape. Facts. That's why I hate Facts. Apple so much because they keep putting EP next to my album, and I've been trying to fix it. But yeah. they're I trying to make. I'm gonna say they're trying I to make songs categories. Is, and drop shit. Them again. Like, was it six? What? Oh, which how project? Do, my album. How do we, how do we get, get here? here? My only album. Seven. Seven? Seven. They gonna classify that as an EP, I feel like, bro. Daytona seven tracks. Yeah, so it's not. Yeah, yeah, seven I, tracks. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. So it's, yeah. I stand corrected. I'm about to say, yeah. I and it's not corrected. about what they say it is. It's about what about the what artists say it is. is. Yeah, for sure. I was, I've never, I wasn't aware of if, uh, but it, it, and it, it, music, it kills my point, though. I wasn't aware of if, like, if a certain number of amount of songs Made it an EP or an album, but what you just said just kills my whole point. Well, it's the so, link. It's the link. I believe it was over fifty minutes. It's the LP. Oh, oh, really? I believe that's yeah. what it I used to be. I did not know that. It's what it used to be. It changed though, because <laughs> if you remember the uh, Pusha T when he was on Pusha T when he was on the JBP, <laughs> yeah. and they asked Stephen Victor about it, Apple Music considers anything four songs an album, but yet my distribution, the United Masters, won't let me classify it as an album. Because I remember Rory joked and said, so Daytona's a double disc? Because <laughs> it's got seven, eight of songs. Yeah. That's funny. Um, so it's really through your distributor. Yeah. So yeah. Not Let me go store. take a drug piss real quick and I'll be right back. All right. We'll go ahead. Back. We can break. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we, 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 you know what I'm saying? I can't talk. We back. You feel me? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, Kanye up. West and Kim Kardashian West have uh, reportedly filed for divorce, and Kanye West has blocked her phone number and has informed uh, Kim. Uh, <laughs> All right, bro. The Cabernet. He, he, he informed Kim Cabernet about what? The Cabernet Sauvignon. Wow. Sauvignon. He has informed Kim Kardashian that uh, she can contact him mm. via his security officer. Now, this is all just word of mouth. We don't know if Kanye really said this. We don't even know if they're really getting divorced. Yeah, them niggas could facts. be in bed right now. Facts. Look at like, they could, he could be busting a nice one inside her right now, bro. We have no idea, but that's how this game is played. But just based off of the reports and shit, um, I kind of feel Kanye, bro. Like you can contact my security. Like don't talk to me. <laughs> he should have felt that way when he met her. Yeah, facts. Like I wasn't gonna say nothing, but you know. I'm telling y'all, between this uh, world I think he was in a shit, vulnerable stage when his mom passed away, so it's like, he just really... When did they get together? This is definitely in a vulnerable stage when his mom passed away. I feel like everybody is in a vulnerable stage when their mother passed yeah. away. Yeah, so that's why I don't really But when did like they to get together? About him. That shit still lasts, though, bro. I don't, that don't mean shit. I'm not saying it doesn't It was last, it was hell, like, His mom passed away, like, 09. They got together. passed away before heart, they, got, heart they got together. Like... Yeah, Either before or during one of the two. One of them two. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was after fucking uh, Ka- uh no, 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 no. What's the shit with good life and fucking Kentucky graduation? Gra- graduation. It was it was before it was after graduation. Two thousand seven. Yeah. Okay. So before eight oh eight Harvard. Yeah. Right like before I said. Yeah. 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 Uh, but probably during no one. But they got married like 2011, 2012? That's what I'm trying to figure. That's what I had. But that's what I'm saying though, bro. It's like. 
That shit still lingers on, though, bro. And you know what I'm saying? I'm just speaking from like my who like I know who have lost their mom or especially, lost a parent. Especially with somebody who's as busy as Kanye where you don't have time to really grieve and deal really with your problems. Like oh, that. facts. For I sure, get it. Bro. I'm not saying I, that's not a problem, but I'm just more so speaking on he's always really wanted her and I've never understood why. Oh, yeah, he is. Yes. yes. Ever. Like, he's the dress. And that's what no, I was talking about. Wait, 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 wait. We're not going to do that here on this podcast. What are we, we not doing? Do we have everybody in this room, I feel like, has a female who have, they have always wanted, no matter what. Nigga, that's fine. But not we're talking about one. Kim Kardashian. Oh, Boo. Oh, because that's all I was getting at yeah, when I said like, what I, I said. Know. Okay, I'm not talking about specifically that situation. That's I'm just what we're talking us, about. For us, though. For us. Yes, definitely. Yeah, but okay, that's so not what I'm Don't judge that nigga. I'm judging. I'm judging. I'm judging. I don't okay, give a fuck. Yeah. What okay, you talking about? Like, <laughs> she a judging. Kardashian. She's yeah, a Kardashian. White yeah. aside. White aside. She a Kardashian. Yeah, like, I'm not even talking about race, nigga. The yeah, Kardashian. Yeah, that's a lot of comes with that. I wouldn't, I mean, he was probably thinking about, like, the positives, like, the bag, the show. But it's like, nigga, what yeah. about your happiness? Yeah, I mean, it probably, but, I mean, we don't know. Probably, like, she probably did make him happy. She probably did make she him probably, happy. Probably. Yeah, because apparently she filed for a divorce. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. We're going to be some chatty buddies right now. But go ahead. I mean, it's what, it's what was reported. Yeah. But also what I saw was that um, he cut off contact before the divorce was filed. Oh, really? That's what I heard. Or that's what I read. It's not like I'm in conversations with niggas like, yo, did you hear about what Kim did? Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck. But, yeah, so. Honestly, I feel like that came from the 5150 shit, though. You remember he's been having problems with them. Yeah. Remember he said they trying to 5150 me? Which is like believable as fuck. Whenever I seen Kanye on Chris's show getting interviewed, I was like, "That's not Kanye." Yeah, that was wild. I was like, "Y'all hear? I was like, Y'all hear his voice? That's not Kanye." That was wild. That was, that was weird wild. for me. That was some like really some get out shit. Like not yeah, to, but that was yeah. That was it. Was weird. You know what I'm talking about? Did you ever see it? You remember when he when Chris had that show like that was brief as fuck? And it ended. We're talking about Chris Jenner. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. She had a show when Kanye West was on there. She interviewed she interviewed Ye on the show, bro. Oh. Yeah. And this nigga like, was talking like, like Oprah Kodak, style. He was a suburban o- kid. O- Oprah style. Like she had a show. You don't remember this. Nigga, I don't pay attention to nothing they do. The most I know is from Kim, and that's because she's Kanye's wife. Do they own E? Or are they just At this point, let Might me tell well. you, yes. Might as well. They kept them niggas alive. On God, they did. Like literally, they kept them niggas alive. Like That's wild. So. Um but yeah, I don't. I didn't. I had no clue that she had a show, and I didn't know about that interview, so I had never seen it. Yeah, it's really, really, really wild. And then the um, a tweet of Kim and the kids was going was like going around the TL, mm-hmm. and the caption was "Pizza Party." And if <laughs> anybody like is into any of the stuff that I'm talking about, you understand how suspicious that is. Following yeah. the things Kanye has said about Kanye her. has said about that. And if yeah. you see the pictures, they're very creepy and eerie, in my in my opinion. Did you you know what I'm talking about, Jalen? Did you see it? The, are you correlating Pizza Party to Pizza Gate? <laughs> does this not look a little weird? Like, does Kim ever post pics like this? This quality. Of this nature, and like, why did she make sure the pizza was in the picture every time? That was kind of weird. She's a cliche type too, though. Like she does a lot of cliche shit. But no, I feel you though. I think that's like Caucasian culture is cliche. <laughs> Not that ass. I was gonna say she's look, white, been, but like been, he said it before this, I got to say. I think we had it. this conversation on here before, like trying to figure out what their culture is besides like pillaging one. and savagery. That is their like culture. That. Like, <laughs> That is their culture. Pillaging and savagery and finessing and make and gentrifying and colonizing. I think gentrifying is the word. I, I think that that just covers, covers everything. everything. You just well, said, I yeah, think that covers everything. That's them. That's but, um, their culture. Let me look up cliche to make sure I'm not fucking that up. A stereotype or a lecture type. What? A, a phrase or opinion that is overused and betrays a lack of original thought. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's part of their culture. Yeah. They move how others move. Well, prayers up to uh, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. Oh, my God. They sort that shit out. This shit is hilarious. The first tweet underneath that is, Wishing you love and like Kim. I enjoy your sex tape. Wow. <laughs> it's not on Pornhub anymore. <laughs> so, what Pornhub you got? Wow. <laughs> oh, you can still find it? 
Like the full show? The full I've joint? never seen it, honestly. Really? I mean, I've actually, that's a lie. I've never seen it on Pornhub. Bro, I'm not going to hold you. There was like a stint, like in middle, um, excuse me, in high school where like I used to go to Pornhub every day and watch that shit and beat off to it. And it really isn't a good sex tape, but yeah. <laughs> you like the one with that much? Nah, bro. Honestly, bro, like... <laughs> She just she was just really nasty, bro, and it caught me off guard, and it was kind of like a turn on for me. So like, uh, okay, got got me going. Come on now, dog. So that's the other type come of white girl. Come on, man. The Kim, joint. the Kim Kardashian white girls. And this is pre-surgery. Like, she was. Do you look better pre-surgery though? Like, but, like when I was a, when I was a young and I would see like older pictures of Kim, I'd be like, what what is she doing to herself? Like, mm-hmm. she looked actually attractive. Yeah. Like authentic type shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, mm-hmm. she got her own flaw, or not even flaw, she got her own insecurities that she. Oh, yeah. Nigga, so she they did a. On. I seen some picture where they compared all of them pre, like all the Kardashians pre, and Jenner's pre surgery. Yeah. Now, Chloe looked like a linebacker, bro. She nigga, she, looked, she went through four different phases of a human. Yeah. Like she literally Chloe changed. That shit. <laughs> she definitely was a linebacker. She, nah, she, bro, she started Malcolm, with Jim yeah, Brown. Malcolm, bro, like, film. She, that's just some shit. <laughs> no, no, bro. Fam, no, I'm not black. I'm OJ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keep it all in the family. Oh, Keep it all shit. in the family, bro. And that was T Rose. I said that line, that Kanye line on that part is wild. Why if you gonna kill me? She the female OJ. <laughs> That's wild, bro. How, they let him get that off. The state of California let him get that off. Yeah, Kanye okay, said it first, and Ho said it next. He said it the year later. That That's shit crazy. Like. Message. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, hope okay. Kanye. Holy shit. Yes, you please. Know, be all right. Be okay, man. Like, I hope he's. Be okay. Be okay. Well <laughs> oh, speaking of hove, man. Uh, Let's talk about hove. Oh, okay, we Let's go ahead and clap it up, man. We already talked about this deal. No, we didn't. On Patreon. We didn't talk about the deal? Patreon. We didn't, but I don't think we even went in detail. Though. Nah, y'all said save it. I was finna bring it up, then y'all said uh, save yeah, it. Yeah, we didn't we talk about it. Ahead. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right, you right. Let's see. We can get the full, full, full details. Yeah, you, does it even have the call on this on there, too? On the uh, website? Yes, 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 yes. Got you. Okay. All right. Jay-Z is still top... Mm-hmm. Trust you want me to read it, bro? Wait, wait, wait. I, I got something in my throat, so I, like I was trying to like clear my throat and then like read it at the same time. Okay. This thing is just, all right. Get the camera. Let me read it here. I got it. I got it. Hold up. Okay. That's why I said it. it. it's I full. It. I think. I oh, it's full. Yeah, I knew it was gonna do that. All right. All right. Uh, Jay Z is still a hot topic following his very lucrative recent deal with Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey. But he is definitely not the only celebrity to benefit financially. When Tidal was launched, there were 16 co-owners all receiving a 3% stake in the company. And now they all have reportedly just made almost $9 million from Jay-Z's Twitter deal. Earlier this month, Jay-Z officially sold the majority of stake of his streaming platform title to Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey in a $297 million deal. Not only does Jay-Z get hundreds of millions in the deal... All of his celebrity co-owners also net a multi-million dollar profit as well. Beyonce, Kanye West, Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, Usher, T.I., Alicia, Alicia Keys, and Lil Wayne are all among the 16 owners who reportedly made $8.9 million due to their 3% stake in the company that has now been sold. It's crazy. I didn't hear nothing. You just read. I checked out. I was on Instagram. Okay. Basically, Jay Z sold uh, Title. He to sold everything the owner. he owns of Title. So yeah, he to, owns nothing of Title now. Yeah, he sold it to the owner of Twitter for a lot of millions, and each uh, owner, each co-owner of Title that was of the sixteen co-owners that had three percent stake, just Got made 8.9 nine million. million. Okay, so that's a come up. What I want to happen. Is that everyone who had title just to support Jay Z? I hope they leave. I hope they leave. To leave title now? Don't use title anymore. Yeah, don't use title no more. Let that be a finesse for us, cause that's how that's how shit be happening. Like, let that white man think he's gonna make money off something, and then stop fucking with it. You know what's crazy? I want to know when does this deal go into place. When? What you mean? Like, when does the ownership transfer over to... Uh, I feel like us knowing about it means it's already transferred. It's like immediate... That's kind of... I feel like... 
I feel like this deal happened before it was announced, before we knew about it. And when they announced it, it became it was already official. Type shit. Okay, that makes perfect sense. No, like if I know anything about how Jack Dorsey or Hove moves, I yeah. feel like that's a, that's the thing. Okay. So what should what should a person use who doesn't fuck with Apple or Spotify? SoundCloud, I guess. You can get all the same shit on there. It's just kind of not as that's through universal. Pick your poison in, my nigga. Like, honestly, it, it, that's what it gets down to. Uh, that's the uh, problem. Uh, 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 fucking audio I just man. wanted to shake up the room with no, that. I'm with you. I'm with it. Like, where, where, like, where do you go? Yeah. Honestly, I don't see how iPhone users don't like Apple. That's my one main thing, because literally the interface is applies the same to anything else Apple. Oh, the Apple sure. music interface applies to everything Apple. Wait. I don't think I'm, I'm going I'm to I'm keep it to 1,000 unless, like... That shit drops with 21 Savage and uh, Meek Mill with that black-owned uh, streaming service that they was talking about back in, like, January, December. We Did were... they even own their masters? No. I don't know, but remember we had talked about it, though. I don't but remember. That's a good question, though. I think... The, were they, did they start this, like, do Clubhouse? Like, their conversations about this? It might have been through Clubhouse. I think I did. I think Clubhouse. I did remember this. Um, Like, unless that drops, I don't really see myself really leaving Apple, bro. It's just I've got too much... Listen, yeah. I'm invested to where they know like what I want to hear. So yeah, the like, only way I would leave Apple is if there was a black owned streaming service yeah, I could go to. For sure. Which um And even then, like I'm gonna the keep it Pharaoh about, Otten dude that I'll be watching, he's building his own streaming service. No, he's building his own social media. Mm. Black owned, completely uncensored. Mm. Mm. So no getting suspended for nothing, none of that. Saying he said he, that nigga said you can say whatever the fuck you wanna say on his shit. I wanna suck some toes right now, I won't get suspended. Um, I don't, you you, you don't get s- benefit on Twitter? Yeah, I don't. I'm just yeah, throwing something out there, yeah, just spitballing. Yeah, just spitballing. Yeah, no, you want to get spitballing? You can say kill them yeah. crackers. Damn. I heard my mom say crackers and like on a voice memo and like I won't get suspended. You'd be good. Them yeah. crackers. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said she wouldn't say. It. She still won't say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, did you ask her why? I need to. I forgot to ask. Yeah, ask her. Yeah. I need to ask. Her. ask I'm gonna so ask her tomorrow so I can come back here on Friday yeah. with some shit. Like why after 400 years you won't say it? <laughs> Think about it, brother. Rock around the crowds on the south side of Chicago and the Black Panthers political platform. You know, imagine what we could do, brother. Um, imagine what we could do together. <laughs> I am revolutionary. Let's see. <laughs> I think we covered everything. Honestly, in the notes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, did we already talk about the Benny single? We have not. Oh, Thanksgiving. So, you heard Benny on the Harry Fraud beat. Give us your thoughts, Jay Manley. Um, honestly, I gotta hear more. I gotta hear more. I heard it. It wasn't bad, but I need to hear more of the album, because I need to hear him, like, really, really, really Okay, so you told us what it wasn't. What was it? It gave me, like, honestly, bro, it gave me fucking, uh, Burden of Proof vibes. Oh, you didn't like it? Not gonna say I didn't like it, bro. It's just like, I know you're a little I've, turned I've, off I've, of Burden of Proof. Yeah, like, I've, I've heard listen. better. I've heard better. I've just heard better, bro. You've heard better from Benny. From Benny. Benny. From Benny. Got you. From Benny. That, that song. And Harry, actually, yes. I've heard better from Harry, too. To me, it wasn't bad, but for sure. You don't, yeah. so, so you don't think it was a good marriage? It's perfectly fine at being the last song on that tape. I'll just leave it at that. Really? Even after all 70 being the last song on Ten of Talk and then... Uh, What's the uh, last joint? Oh, yeah, this is, this is definitely... Legend. The, yeah, if no, you want to... plugs I'm at. If, if you, if you want to uh, fucking make it a, like, what's the best last song on his... In the plugs I met in Tennis Hawk series, uh, for this sure, is this is last. Off. This is last for sure. That's what I'm saying. It, it gives me burden to prove eyes, but I'm not going to fucking prejudge Five it, Five to 50. Okay. I'm not gonna give it fuck. I'm not gonna fucking judge it yet. Prejudge the whole project off of this one track. I want to hear the full thing because I fuck with Benny the Butcher heavy, bro. Mm-hmm. And I respect the way that the nigga raps. That okay, so let nice. me ask you this: Are you gonna be listening to this song until the album drops? No, no. I'm I'm patiently waiting for March 19th. I need to hear the whole thing. I need to hear the, how he's coming in on that motherfucker. I need to hear all that shit. We ain't got no bullshit ass fake uh, soprano ass skits to not. fill the album. So we really gonna hear this nigga get his shit off, and I'm excited for that. Yeah, that was my biggest gripe with Burden Proof was that the beat selection, I wasn't mad at the beat selection at all. Like, I always, I want niggas to rap over different types of beats every project. And I want, uh, I wasn't mad at the marriage. I actually liked it a lot. 
Uh, so I'm a little uh, uh Thanksgiving. Uh, uh, I wasn't. I just know. I about to say. I think it was like damn. Maybe I wasn't. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I don't know what I was expecting. I didn't know what to expect. So when yeah, I heard something, like, I was like, I like this. Mm-hmm. It's cool. I did not like it at all. It's cool, but I've also described many project songs being better than cool. So that's why I was like. Mm. Yeah, but like just because something's not better than something, like does it, it automatically take you down? Does it automatically take it down for you? No, it just makes me anticipate what's coming next. How about you? Depending on the time the trial, like if this is your third or fourth time where I'm like waiting on what's next. At this point, I'm like, all right, <laughs> ain't nothing here for you. Know, Depends how good you are. Like if you're like not like really like cold, cold for real, then that's when I get to the point where I just don't give a fuck. But if you're like cold, like if you're Kendrick. Then I'm going to be waiting type shit. But if you're not like of that echelon to where it's like you. you Wait, no, I'm saying like, um, so you hearing Thanksgiving and not thinking it's as good as his previous work, does that automatically take it down for you? No, because I know what he's capable of. So I want to hear the full project still. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Yeah, and and when I seen that it's the last song, it's like, okay. Like, he can get away with that because that nigga can spit. See, okay, that's crazy because you're looking at it as getting away with it. So you yeah. kind of are diminishing it. I mean, if you want to call it that, yeah. I just, I'm just, I hold, I hold them Griselda niggas to a high standard because them niggas can really rap, bro. I know. And it's I'm not just, even saying um, that that song, he's not even really spitting. It's I'm just a, like, he's made other shit to where he's spitting, but it's like a bop. And it, it just, it's just, he's just talking that shit, bro. That again. <laughs> he's just talking that shit, bro. So it's like. He had that shit on, didn't he? Stop. <laughs> he's, 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 just, he's just talking that shit. So it's like. It all just fucking just like mixes up together like perfectly to where it's like I don't have a problem with what I'm hearing, but it's like with the last shit with the with the Thanksgiving shit, it wasn't bad, but you didn't have that shit. I've just, I just I know he can do better, and I hold him to a high standard. But it's it, it's not trash at all or anything, though. Bro. So it's right. as good as you thought it was gonna be before you clicked on it. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Like, for instance, bro, and even we we said that it's been mixed terribly. Like, Quarantine is a better song than Thanksgiving. That's on that BSF mixtape by DJ Drama. I didn't really listen to that whole tape. Really? For some There's reason, I'm, not, I'm like, I'm kind of over, like, DJ tapes. Really? Yeah. That like, might just be an old nigga thing with me then, because I really enjoy it. Like, nostalgic I really, kind of thing. Yeah, no, bro. Look, like, look. I, like, I want to drop a project where I have a DJ screaming over my shit. When I, I listen, when I listen to Verde Terrace, I'm perfectly fine with it. When I listen to Dedication 3, I'm perfectly fine with it. When I listen to a song that come out in 2021, I don't really want that. Got you. I'm with you. The time it came out. That makes sense. That makes sense. That Dude, makes you sense. You put that up because you was there and you understand, you like you have the full knowledge and understanding of why the DJ's there, what this consists of, why it's being played out, all that shit, or is it literally because your ear is now subconsciously trained to listen to music differently because of the way that music is being brought about? Might have been a lot if you want me to condense it. No, anymore. thinking about it, I don't think, I don't, I don't know. I just have a different. Hmm. Hmm. As a group project, that didn't need a DJ. You don't need another. You don't need an outside nigga screaming at your project. If it's a group project, I'm trying to get to know y'all. I don't need nobody else coming in who's not a part of the gang talking over the shit. Like, stay in your lane. Let us get established. And then if we want to collab with you, we're going to collab with you. But maybe that's kind of like a, a I'm bigging up my brother kind of thing. like. But I don't know your brother. Let me meet your brother and then big him up. In this case, no, I'm saying like this is a, a no look, brother. Now this is they, drama. You know drama, nigga. I know, because <laughs> now like if I'm taking the drama co-sign with the tape mm-hmm. and I'm bigging him up and I listen to their projects mm-hmm. and I don't like them, mm-hmm. I'm going to be like, drama, why you bring that bullshit ass nigga around here? Okay. And then that's where it becomes a to each its own. That's like if I was like, hey, bro, my homie, like, bro, he the hardest nigga, this and that. And he showed up to the studio and that nigga started dropping some bullshit. You're going to be like, so what was all that hyping up shit you was doing? You should have just let me hear what the fuck he was about. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. Facts. I'm with you. None of And um, it has to make sense. Sometimes I feel like that shit is forced a lot. The DJ screaming shit? Yeah, because it's like, all right, I know this dude or like, I got the money to pay for it, so let me pay for this. So yeah, let me it don't buy sound this. authentic. It just ruins it. Like, with Funny Verde story. Terrace, that was a perfect match. F- funny story, bro. I'll never forget this shit. Senior year, 
there was a nigga outside of Pike, bro, passing on his mixtape, and I guess he paid for DJ Drama package to have him like be, make it be against the grills, mm-hmm. but nobody knew who the nigga was. So I'm playing this shit in my Nissan Maxima, and like it was just trash, bro. And I ended up just taking it out, throwing the shit outside the window, because it was just like you could tell it was just like a forced thing, or it was just like, bro, like he had the bread. You niggas just happened to pay have the bread to pay for the DJ Drama plug and. They make it to be against the grills, but it's like that was my first experience. So like in the industry of like niggas paying for shit and it not being hot, like that was like my first experience of that type of shit. Um, but yeah, the shit was ass though. Okay, bro. so let me ask you: do you, do you uh, do you know to do well enough to ask a few questions about his music career? I don't know. No, I don't know who that nigga was. That nigga, it was a random ass nigga. Literally, he just showed up to high school, showed up the pike, and was passing. I thought this might have been like a student. No, it was a random ass older nigga who wasn't in high school no more, <laughs> who was outside of the fucking senior parking lot, bro. Passing all this mix up to niggas to try to get fans. And it was ass. Couldn't remember the nigga's name if a gun was to my head. Don't know who the nigga is. Okay, so if you, if you heard him rapping again, would you, know, would you remember? <laughs> no, but I'll probably call it ass, though. I hope he got better since then. I, 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 he probably I hope, stopped. I hope he's gotten better since then. He probably stopped, then. honestly. You know, that's, that's how that shit go. Niggas stop and... I hate how people... Um, I hate that. I think we had a, a conversation off pod about that. And I don't want to call nobody out because I don't really know nobody's life, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about, and I hate that because it's like, I don't know, I feel like for you to give up on your dream means you never really believed in it. That shit is annoying. Cause that, and I think, I think that's why I get so upset when niggas be asking me I'm still doing videos. I'm like, yeah, bitch, what you think I, what, you thought I was going to like, what what'd you think? What you think? You thought I was just playing when I told you the shit I'm trying to do and I'm going to accomplish in life? Mm-hmm. Like, career paths do change, so that's why career are. paths do change. Passion don't. Passion don't, but maybe they don't know their passion. They have to keep trying. That's why. I'm talking about as far as him. I'm, I'm talking about shit. general shit. Passion kind of changed a little bit too. I'm about to say your passion. Yeah, but does like have to passion, alter. like towards a certain thing, is not going to fucking change. But not everybody knows their thing that they have a full... That's right. He was applying it to me. He was applying it to me. I was applying it to Malcolm. I'm yeah. I know, and I said, I'm not talking about Malcolm. I'm okay, that's general. what we was talking about, though. I know. Okay. I know. So but you're talking I'm about somebody telling. else, like, sitting, stopping doing something. Like, but, no, okay, no, stopping changing, Okay, I understand changing direction. I understand that. Right. But giving up is what I don't understand. Okay. I'm a change of direction is perfectly fine yeah. and understandable. Yeah. Like... That may not be what you want. No more. I understand that. But like, okay, so what's your next thing? Like, what's oh, the next? Just, step? You just settling for like what it for, is, for, whatever it is. You just settling for a situation, like yeah, I'm with you. Like, are you pussy? Like, what are you a girl or something? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. But all right. um, do we got anything else to get into today? We're already fucking with it. Almost two hours in. Which has We're over vegan two hours. In. We're over two hours. Bro, bro, we 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 them, we, we, we them niggas, bro. Yeah, we legends. We're going to be a legend soon. We're a legend now. What's the name of this episode? The Watch? <laughs> Hooker. 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 It's definitely Hooker. The uh, DJ how Pool you, Appreciation? It's Hooker. That? No, it's Hooker. It's Hooker. Like, that's Hooker. It's Hooker. That's just Hooker. H-O-O-K-E-R. It's that's Hooker. 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 We went our, nigga. We went our, hold up, man. Yeah, I'm own. drunk. I'm drunk. We putting our we putting our own spin on that shit. It's hooker. Let me get extra old. H o o o k e r. Hooker. <laughs> Fuck it. Hooker. I don't know. We put add, add, add a w. You got anything else to jump in? They won't know, so they listen. But if if they think it's called hooker, they might click on it. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. You anything else to jump into? No, I don't. Nah, that's really it. I'm about to go to the, the bed. Jump. That's it. Yeah. No, say it again. I said the bed. Oh, you're funny. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, I got to be up early this fucking morning, too. Um, shit, man. Well, this has been episode 108. Uh, social medias? <laughs> Malcolm, fellas? Is, Malcolm is important. Three T rows with three O's. See what's on Anchor? Now that you know what it's Yeah, Anchor. Hey, yo, Anchor. Anchor. <laughs> dot FM slash the Brother Guys T-B-G-P. podcast. Or T. Okay, excuse me. Anchor. Dot FM slash T B. GP G- <laughs> And you can follow me at follow me on Instagram and Twitter Follow the podcast on Twitter at the Brother Guys Follow us on Instagram at the Brother Guys Podcast Follow us on Facebook at the Brother Guys Podcast uh, Oh shit We didn't tell him about the poet on Menhoffer 
Oh shit! Last Tune night. in to the Patreon to catch it. Oh uh, fuck! All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. leave your niggas hanging. We'll catch it, it in and the I'm Patreon. The camera, the camera's still on. The camera. <laughs> uh, this has been episode 108, man. Thank you guys oh, so much man. for listening. Uh, if you guys are listening on uh, what the, the Apple Podcast app, make sure you guys leave us a rating. Uh, Leave a little comment Like man You niggas is funny as fuck man Like Tyrone's spinning that real shit Malcolm is spinning that real shit Or the little that bullshit Y'all talking about Like this is What's that, that? Yeah like, just rate us man That helps us chart on the fucking Apple shit And lets other niggas know Like how dope The Brother Guys podcast is Yeah man. y'all want us to be a legend So they want us to be a legend now yeah, like, If you want to see us Really like blow up Fuck And like You know what I'm saying You want to see some Some fucking authentic shit Blow up Just, just drop a rating man That helps us fucking Chart And that helps Let's surpass other niggas who ain't really keeping it real how they, how they should be. And I'll leave it there. It became but personal with me. This has been... Ep- <laughs> T-Rose know my steez. This has been episode 108, man. <laughs> and um, again, we thank you all for listening, man. For sure. We got all of our social medias, man. Yeah. Uh, we will see you guys next week. And we are out. you guys enjoyed it, be blessed. We are out.